Sebelum kita mula, jangan lupa Sanusi Bangsat. Uh, we had a fight at the gatehouse of sorts. Uh, traveling from the protectors uh, and play towards the beggar's nest. Uh, we managed to kill all the guard impersonators safe for one. Uh, but after the fight, as we were leaving, uh, Seldra comes by and talks to us. She says she's working for Never Ember, but it's more on the side of the lost heir. She also says that she gives, gave him the crown and wants us to meet with him to speak to him. Uh, she said we can start at the House of a Thousand Faces. Uh, we rest and leave for the tavern. Uh, we also did question that one dead rat. Uh, on the way there, we are attacked by more plague-changed uh, creatures. And we survived. Yes, and some of you are pretty hurt, pretty banged up from the fight. <laughs> so, <laughs> let us we begin. Up. All right. Yeah, I, don't, I yeah. don't think I have any... I have no more... Uh, hit dice? I have no more uh, hit dice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, mm. I can I can still heal, but uh, for now we should try to find a place to short rest. So um, I, can, I can technically I got twenty nine points of lay on hands left. Okay. Yeah, and if we do so... get into another fight, I can second wind to mm. give myself a little boost. Yep. Yeah, well, that's true. Okay. okay, so let us start. So you guys are yeah. have crossed the Winged Wyvern Bridge, and now that you're within the Black Lake District, and you're actually kind of walking towards the uh, House of a Thousand Faces, you now look around and you realize, obviously, Black Lake District looks very different from the Protectors Enclave. And the wealthy no nobles of Neverwinter kind of once dwelled in this Black Lake District, but now their estates and mansions, as you look around, uh, stand mostly empty, scorched by fire, but largely intact. And although the area seems ideal for rebuilding, you can tell there's kind of resentment against the Lord Protector, against Lord Never Ember himself, uh, as there are graffiti along the sides of the walls and darker markings uh, along these quiet streets. And some of them just goes, fuck the new Never Ember government, fuck Never Ember, burn the city. And you can tell it's, it's all very quite uh, negative reviews for the Lord Protector himself. Uh, this construction scaffolding, the kind of line, the protectors' enclaves are nowhere to be found around the area. And as you guys kind of like finished off uh, the last bit of combat, you're still standing uh, actually like kind of past the bridge right now. You can choose to take a short rest, I guess, uh, in one of the dilapidated buildings around you if you like, and then move on. Totally up to you. Um, yeah, I would I... say at least take the short rest for anything that resets on a short rest. Yeah, okay. that's not okay. worth it. I, okay, I so. will try to look for a house that isn't locked. Okay, so looking around, it's hard to find one of these houses. Most of the empty houses themselves have plenty of graffiti around them, but you do find one of uh, less ramshackle uh, hut within uh, the vicinity. And I'll say if you're casting Limon's tiny hut, yeah, you should have no problem getting everyone in there for a short rest. So all of you can take a short rest, roll hit die, heal up, whatever you need to do right now. Mm. It dies. You know, guys. <laughs> um, I mean, some people might have some. <laughs> might have some. some I but... know Snow at least has two more, so somebody, sh somebody should definitely play Snow right now since she's not here. And, and <laughs> please heal her up. Because I don't want to roll it. Anymore. I don't want to get zero. Uh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Eddie, 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 before I'm taking a short rest, can I use my key to regenerate yes. myself? Oh, all right. Can, of course. You can I have during your short rest. I, well. use my, all, I use my key before. Oh, yeah, rest. nice, nice. Use it all to heal yourself first and then short rest and get it back, right? Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> nice. nice. I had, this is my second win. <laughs> yeah, go ahead and this go is ahead and second win, man. That is your healing hands. <laughs> Literally, your go ahead and give yeah, me Oh my god. Oh, this is a nice. Hey, go ahead and send the link to Snow and I'll play Snow. Others with it. Okay. <laughs> Cannot. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> we all side eye Neko as he's. Uh, oh, healing. Neko's going to thank Nick, right? How do I mean? <laughs> Loser style. Hey, wait. Uh, Bogron, your second win? Get, uh, is it wrong rest or short rest? Huh? I'm pretty sure I used it during the last fight against the against the villagers. Oh, I think that's what yeah. I yeah, forgot about that. Guys, yeah. um, 
we're going into a place that's pro lost air, right? The we, where we believe we can find him, I suppose. Yeah, I know we're they're pro lost air. Uh, seeing we have been pointed to technically, our... technically, uh, Seldra kind of told you guys to yeah, do look for him. Um, oh yeah, yeah the, I would say the bandits. Uh, uh, the, the dead rat bandits did say that they did hang out at the House of a Thousand Faces and Seldra kind yeah, of asked true. you guys to kind of go there to investigate because most likely they would know something. I, Rogue is uh, a DA, right? Like, like seeing seeing yeah. our yeah. our yeah. condition, yes. maybe we should wear the lost air. Right on here. Uh, because you can't uh, activate it, so I'll, I'll, I'll do the short rest. But she has... Oh, wait! She actually still has four hit dice, so I haven't rolled them all. Right. Um, yeah, go ahead and roll all of them, then. All right, I'll do it, then. Yes. One. Not bad. Mm. On a dish. Please don't zero. Oh, mm -hmm. nice. Wait, let me just double check how much that she still needs. 10, 13. So she's got back 13 from that. Okay. Okay, so that'll get her to 23. No, she's going to use them all. She's going to use them all. Yeah, she needs oh, okay. at least some. Yeah, she's going to use one more. One, two, three, four. Okay. Hey, nice. Okay, that's good enough. Maybe we should wear the pin that the air gave us. Just so... I'm absolutely not going to. Just so we don't... I don't know, maybe it would be a good idea to like... I'm I'm hold... I I have it in my possession, but I'm not going to wear it. And not get into fight. Still need in need of healing. Uh, no. No, doesn't mind an extra like 10. Larry, <laughs> Larry also doesn't mind. Larry also how, many, uh, how many hit points six, does Larry get back? Uh, she's got back all the way 29 over 35, so she wouldn't mind an extra 6 more hit points. <laughs> I, will, I will use my last level I 4. I can't, I can't change it. <laughs> I, can't it. I, cast, I cast Aura of Vitality, and I'm going mm -hmm. to start healing anyone that looks hurt until I either run out of um, mag magical energy or until they're, they're, they say it's enough. Yeah, it lasts for a minute. So technically, every round that would be ten rounds. So ten yeah, times two d six. Twenty d six technically. Uh, I'll give yeah. that to Nico. Nico, are you full yet? Not yet, but halfway. Okay. Halfway full. Then that's even after Nico. all that. Even yeah, after halfway. all that. Yeah. Like, Nico, yeah. Nico again. Fifty nine. Okay. And that one to Blarin. Okay. And this one to Snow. Five okay. Okay. Snow. She'll take the five. She'll take the five. <laughs> uh, starting what? Uh, eight. Blarin, me, Neko, eight. Okay. Yeah. Uh, this one for myself, I guess. The 10 one is for Blarin? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So 18 for Blarin, five for Snow, the three, five is for Queen. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, three more. Yeah. Self, self. Okay. Cute. Yeah, take bloody. Uh, give our, give the bloody. Still have three more. Oh, it's okay. I'm I'm still down to thirty. <laughs> I'm not I'm not planning on using my healing for myself if I can at all help it. So. Um. Should you should you should Larry Nicole more No 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 no. Give to give it to give it all to bloody. Please, please. Okay. Well, you don't, you don't need to go down either. You don't need to go down either, Nico. You you're you get your monk. You get your key back on a short rest, right? Yeah. yeah. And you get. You we need we need you alive to stun the crap out of things. <laughs> yep, that's true. So I all would right, say uh, I would say until Nico's fully healed, give it all to him. I've got thirty eight, so I can take a couple of hits. Uh, all right. All right. I Not will please. take the nine. Okay. Then so Nico, you take the thirteen. Okay, cool. All right, I take 15. All right. Thank you. All right. As and the spell wears uh, off. Queen, Queen was uh, using our vitality, and you see a, a white magical glow surrounding him. And then after he uses all of it up, the, the glow is gone, and you see uh, Queen panting with <laughs> exertion from healing all, all of that. Okay, okay. Sure. All right, no let's problem. go. That is all 
Find okay. and whoa, 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 whoa. That's what the right heck? in the ear, man. Right in the ear. <laughs> you can you can lower their volume a bit if you want. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, I'm, <laughs> I'm using I'm using bone induction uh, headphones. <laughs> ouch! Oh. Ouch! Ah. No ouch! One, uh, ouch! Right, no one. Oh. <laughs> don't 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 get deaf, okay? Don't don't. So <laughs> it's not it's not the sound; it's the bass. There's <laughs> you, you don't realize how much bass is in that. <laughs> <laughs> it's like just how much is shot every piece that you hear. Okay. Oh my god! All right, let's go. I suppose so. We all. I'll, I'll wear the pin. <laughs> okay. So. As you guys start heading off towards the house of a thousand faces, uh, you guys have been here before one time, and after just a few moments, just uh, from your short resting uh, area, you see this brightly lit and welcoming building. The house of a thousand faces stands like an oasis of light among these darkened streets of Black Lake. At first, you think people are standing in the windows, staring out at you, but upon closer inspection, you obviously realize that they are actually the mannequins in colorful dresses and tunics. Their arms arranged to kind of beckon you inside. And as you guys step in, this is what you all see. Oops. Spooky. Right. The moment you step in there, uh, there are other patrons around, but you obviously recognize there is uh, this Elvish Eladrin, uh, bright green eyes, very nice cheeks, and brown hair. This looks about, you guys step in, goes, ah, welcome, welcome to the House of a Thousand Faces. Uh, can I help you all? Would you like a room to stay? Perhaps a drink? Eh, well, like both. All right, then. Um, just to let you know, our rooms here are one gold piece a night per person. Uh, as for drinks, you can just speak to my half brother, Toram, and you see this half elf okay. kind of walk around from the tavern, looks towards you. All. Snow is actually oh. not with everybody right now because Snow is disguised as one of the dead rats. <laughs> okay, sure, no problem. So she's in her disguise for now. Say she's effectively hidden, not invisible, hidden. <laughs> Well, uh, she comes but... in. She comes in on her own, and she'll probably be milling about, kind of uh, staying close to us, but not not being mm. part of the group. Mm. Okay, so right now we just leave Snow aside. She kind of probably do her whole thing once she comes in. Um, but the rest of you guys, what would you like to do? Get a drink. Get a you know, get a table. Oh, right. then. Uh, please follow me, follow me. And she oh, yeah, starts yeah. heading around to this side of the tavern. Stepping ah. in, you see this tavern is quite hustly and bustly. Uh, there are a lot of people kind of like standing around, either drinking or admiring themselves in mirrors mm -hmm. or just oh, kind yeah. of like mulling about. Uh, some of them are kind of drunk, you see them either half asleep or drinking quite furiously. These two men right here are having their own arm wrestling contest, and one of them just oh, loses, and you can see the other kind of just like, yeah, of course, mine. But the rest of you guys grab the table, and Torum just goes, yes, please, 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 uh, sit anywhere you like, uh, enjoy yourselves. The uh, House of a Thousand Faces has always been open to all kinds here. So he just looks around as you guys also kind of look around the tavern. Don't mind the more burlier uh, patrons we have. Uh, everyone here is, how do you say, noble of me. But yes, uh, drinks for you all, yes? Uh, yes, yeah. yes, please. Uh, ale, guy? Sure. Ale? Five ales, then? Uh, yes. 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 Hey, wait, that would be very appreciated. We just had a, a rough time a few hours ago. Oh, I know about the rough time myself. Uh, I've been through some hardships. Uh, well, uh, I'll be right back. Uh, he starts hitting. Off. What are we supposed to do here? What are we supposed to do here? As you look around, uh, you immediately notice that there is one person in here that you all do recognize. Uh, I'll say if Snow was here, she would recognize him the most. 
but there is one halfling sitting here uh, in the corner and he is looking quite drunk and even from a distance you can tell that he is kind of like uh, in a bit of a mood uh, he's holding his ale as he sits on the chair and he just kind of looks to the nearest patron and just goes yeah it's never ever a real bastard ain't they uh, thank you for the heiress back, huh? 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 Yeah? Uh, so, uh... Other than that. All right. <laughs> no, but other than Thanks. that, what, what would you guys like to do? Sitting uh, in this uh, common room area, you can definitely tell, um, as <clears throat> Torum comes back in, serves you all your ale, oh, there you go. If you need anything, just... Give me a call and I'll be right here. If you need your rooms, just go speak to my sister and uh, you can get your keys. I'll be right back. I need to service the other client. And he starts walking over to a couple of the other drug patrons and just kind of starts talking to them. Um, what would you guys like to do? I would like to go to one of the friendlier looking, looking patrons. Like, can I determine if there are any friendly ones? Sure, make me an insight check, please. All right. With a 22, uh, it looks like most of them uh, aren't very friendly. Uh, the very few that do seem that they're by themselves or kind of drunk or uh, sitting by themselves, you can try to go speak to them. There is an elf here kind of like drink, drunkenly kind of like looking at himself in the mirror and just kind of admiring himself. Uh, there is a kind of like what looks to be a human mercenary with scars on her face, short brown, uh, blonde hair, and she looks out of the window. She seems to be like looking around for trouble of some sort. Uh, other than that, the other rowdier patrons around you don't seem to have any issues right now. You might can you might try to talk to anyone that you like. Okay, I would like to approach the elf, uh, drunken elf first, um, mm -hmm. and I raise my uh, cup in in a toast. And I say hello there. Um, how's how's it going? Looks at you. Uh, could be better. Could be better. You see here, and he just points at this little pimple on his chin. I've been trying to get rid of that for a very long time. Uh, but you know, the rest of me still looks good, right? Yeah. Hey, do I know if a lay on hands would work? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> no. We'll have to it cut might it not. open first and then lay on hands. Well, is, is it considered as it is it considered a disease? I suppose no. <laughs> is it disease? I think they did. Right? No, <laughs> it was. No, it, it is just a simple blemish on his skin. It yeah, will it was, naturally uh... go away as for most. <laughs> <laughs> no magic necessary for this sort of thing. Uh, so maybe he's just, just not I, picking at it. I try to tell. I try to tell the elf. <laughs> uh, I try to comfort the elf and say, um, "Your outward appearance is fine. Besides." What's most important is inside. Yes, yes, yes. And he kind wow. of looks in these clothes. Yeah, yeah, that's, everything is inside, so right. Um, uh, what, what do you, can I help you with? Oh, I'm just, uh, I just came around this area for the very first time, and I wanted to know if you're knowledgeable about this place. What has happened recently? There seems to be a lot of scorch marks all around. Oh, this not recent. Uh, I guess you are not from Neverwinter, right? Uh, well, ever since the uh, the spell plague and uh, the eruption of Mount Fontenew, the Black Lake District got uh, the brunt of the uh, the disasters. Well, besides the castle, of course, and he kind of points over to like outside the tavern. Uh, but uh, Black Lake District has been. Uh, taken over by, I guess, uh, a rowdier crowd, and he kind of looks towards the rest of the patrons. Mm -hmm. But I'm used to it. I've stayed here for more than a decade. Yes, yes, you must be quite knowledgeable. Uh, all right, really. Uh, my parents owned a house nearby, and after their deaths, uh, kind of just took it over. <laughs> and uh, they left me a little bit of money. I'm uh, just enjoying my time, really. That sounds nice. Nice to meet um, you, Dad. And he starts walking um, off to the next mirror. <laughs> uh -huh. 
I would like to ask him one more thing uh, sure. before he, he go. Um, have you have you um have you heard about the lost heir recently? What what are your opinions on him? Uh, this lost heir that everyone's been talking about. Uh, uh, to be honest, I don't really care too much as long as you know streets are safe and I can head back home. And I can drink here. I'm fine, really. And all this government politics really out of my league. Yes, yes, I totally agree. And uh, I once again <laughs> raise my cup in a toast and leave him alone. Right. Cheers! And you see him kind of like stumble to the next mirror. It's like, oh no. And he stumbles back to the other one again. So, what are the rest of you guys doing? Uh, just gonna approach. I'm gonna approach this 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 person. Right. What you yeah, looking at? This, yeah, this female mercenary just kind of like turns at you, just goes uh, looking out there, danger. What kinds of danger? All the kinds. Never know. It's always to be. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Kind of... You know, safe. I, I, I believe you. Uh, you look like a scrawny one. Are you sure you can take care of yourselves? It's here at the Black Lake District, you know? Not some uh, uh, old bull's yeah. house you're walking into. Uh, I, I've got more burly friends in that point to the table. Sure. That's good. That's good. Stick around with them. Kind of just stabbed you in the chest hard. Ow. You no. Know? Yeah. You're strong. Friends are good. I miss having friends too. Oh, no. She, she just puts her hands in. Like, My friends are dead. Torum. Um, more for this one. Torum just looks over and just, just kind of like comes over to you. Quietly just whispers. Looking for a that's a dead glass for a day. Uh, 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 you have a good time there. And starts heading off to another table. <laughs> Come on. Oh, I'm like inching slowly, inching away from her. I'm like, okay, I don't want hey, to. Hey, where are you going? I don't. Oh, want to, I don't. Oh. Want to do that. And she kind of just slumps uh, back onto uh, the wall. Oh, kind of falls prone. Oh, oh no. Oh no. And you can see her like kind of like her eyes are almost half open. And it's I would say the time that you guys got here, it's literally noon, and she's basically pissed drunk right now. Wow. To the point of like uh, <laughs> passing out. And you can look around at the bar; it's pretty much similar to the rest of the patrons. There's one guy who's already passed out in his food, what? literally just like passed out in his bowl, and it's kind of sloshed all over. Why are they the all table. drunk? Because alcoholism a disease. <laughs> <laughs> it counts as poisoned. Sometimes it can be hard. Last, but... <laughs> it counts as but poisoned, yes. which is why the dwarves uh, have advantage when when drinking. Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. it, they that are very true. tough ones. Ah, they are tough po ones. Poison. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, have you never heard of alcohol poisoning? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've heard but, people uh, say some people things about poison. Yeah. All right. sure. As you guys kind of like look around and deciding what to do, Torum just kind of walks over here and just goes, um, I think I might have seen you all before. You've been here before? Have we? No, first time being here. Have we? Uh, okay. Uh, have we? Yes, you all have actually been here before once. <laughs> oh? Just once in passing. You basically sat in, took a room. Oh, yeah, yeah. Rest, took, like, took a rest here and then you oh, guys yeah. kind of like right, went off. Well, one. Oh, the others, yeah. So doesn't it include Queen and Larin. Uh, yeah, I don't think so. Larin and Queen have probably not been here before. It's been a while, I think. Very well, well like if, if you need to know anything, I can tell you whatever you need to know. I could say, uh, my man, stories. Yes, ah. yes, yes, I am. But well, what do you know about? Lost air. Uh, what? About the lost air. Lost air. Oh, the lost air. 
Well, uh, he just kind of looks around the tavern. Uh, don't really have much of a, uh, uh, a stand of myself. I've never seen him. Just ah. heard rumors. But if you want anyone who really knows the lost heir, he kind of points to this halfling down here. Uh, that be Charm. Charm. Uh, recently, yeah. he's said himself to be man of the air, probably even working with him. Uh -huh. But uh, you never know what these dragons say all the time. You know, I've, I've heard stories of all kinds. Somebody who said they fucked the dragon once, another one who said they jumped into the volcano and just come out alive. You never mm. know. But yeah. uh, you're welcome to go speak to Charal if you want. Uh, just be wary. He's a little bit uh, connected, if you know what uh. saying. How do we charm him? Like, you know, drink or what? Can we send uh, the disguised Snow to talk with him? Uh, if if Snow goes and talk to him, it will be a very different conversation than you yeah. want. Yeah. Snow, we need Snow here. We really do need Snow here. Somebody call him. <laughs> I don't have Snow's number, so I can't call her. So sorry. Uh, but yeah, so I think you, I, I would say for now, uh, Snow is in deep conversation with Theris at the very front desk. In her disguise. Who here has a very high charisma? I'm not, Tama, right? not very high. <laughs> is it highest? Yeah. <laughs> and the last time, is it that the work? <laughs> I mean, I won't say anything about the last time, but yes. Yeah. <laughs> I lie good. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, sorry, uh, oh yeah, only lying, you're right. Only lying. Oh yeah, I'm true. Really bad. Maybe intimidation too. Eddie, uh, I was asking Torab, how do we like, you know, persuade him, like, you know, what drink or what? Asking about the persuade anyone to talk to, you know, to buy them an ale, I guess. Introduce let's let's go. Let's go, let's let's go talk to him, like as a group. <laughs> Maybe that will be like a, a friendly, a friendly group. Torum yeah. <laughs> just, just looks at you, Kasava, and it just, I mean, there's quite a lot of you. <laughs> All of like, you just kind of surround him. Yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, it's a little group hug, group hug. Group hug. I mean, <laughs> uh, he just looks at Charles. Charles just goes, Wah! he smashes an ear. <laughs> He's not into group hugs. Coming, coming. Uh, I'll be right back, guys. And he just grabs another ear and hits over to Charles. I guess he's not into group hugs. Bogra, can you talk to him? <laughs> Are you there? Let's go. Me talking to him would probably wouldn't end well. Let's let's tr <laughs> let's try. Let's try. I mean, most conversations with who, 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 who either goes really well or really bad. Or really bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even between, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I, before I, I do, I'm gonna go to the bar. Yeah. Yep, I'm gonna shoulder. go to the bar and I'm gonna ask what I'm gonna ask her if she knows what the what the halfling likes to drink. Oh. Uh, are you speaking about Charl? And she just goes, well, we only have our regular ale right here. Uh, I guess you could give him a little bit more fire wine, but uh, that would probably set him off the edge. So really... When you ale, say set him off the edge, what do you mean? Air, well, if you know what fire wine does, it kind of makes you more intoxicated than usual. And uh, halflings don't do too well with fire wine. It's more for elves. Does and, he uh, like fire wine, wine, though? Uh, he, she goes, I let you decide on that, really, since you're the one buying. So either regular Actually, ale or fire Let's wine. do a mix. Can you, can you mix a little? A cocktail, oh, cocktail. Oh, oh, oh. I, I, I unfortunately don't think that would be a very good idea. As fire <sighs> wine tastes pretty much like uh, high-end brandy, and uh, ale is just, you know, regular ale. It's like let's, see, let's see, let's see, let's see if, if, he likes the, if he likes the mixture. Good. It's like putting on, it's like putting on juice and milk. All right. She, she he goes, only has uh, to, he only has to drink it once, but he might want to drink it more, and it might might get you a little bit more more money than just serving a male. All, all right, then I guess uh, for make, the picture, uh, it would be about uh, six silver. Maybe the, right, maybe I'll, let's I'll make actually, it three. I'll give her a gold. Let's just make it three and Whoa. and let we bring it all together. Like, all right, come I'm drink with us. 
I tap, right, so, um, uh, I tap Morgoth on the shoulder with a guidance and say, and say, may Saloon guide you on whatever you're trying to do. <laughs> All right, and then I will take, I will take it over to, uh, I'll take it over the halfling and set it in front of him. It says it's like, uh, I'm for you, go. my friend. I'm gonna go. Not in. Get with Brad. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna go. All right. So, as you, I would not move. You don't move. Sorry, sorry. As you approach, Mogoro, uh immediately the halfling turns to you. <laughs> what do you want? What? What do you want? Oh. Mogoro. Um, actually, I just wanted to kind of just have a chat with you about what's going on and I, I don't I don't think information should necessarily be free. So here, have a have have have, th have this fine concoction I had Ferris uh, make up for you. They say make me a persuasion check with uh, advantage. Uh, I can do this. <laughs> advantage. Don't forget Gaiden. Yep, I sure can. Uh, oh, 26. Oh, she, goes, she he smells his own ale. 28. And sniffs sniffs <laughs> your glass and he just goes. Oh, 26. And that's right, I take that. And he just grabs one of the cups. And cheers to the lost air. The lost air. And he just gulps this entire ale down. Oh dear. To the lost and he just air. Smashes it down on the ground. I don't think he has um, taste buds. Forget the one. Oh, all the way to the head. Ooh, he got another. We'll have to ask. We'll oh, have to order. There are a couple of people. I thought. I thought other people were coming over with me. I uh, just you, Mogorothe, and Kasaba, right? Yeah. Now. Uh, well, we uh, have yeah, to. We, we, uh, we'll, we'll gladly give you another one. Um, Sorry, more in, of this. In fact, I'll, I'll even give you the recipe. <gasps> I don't need the recipe. Exactly, chef. But you can be another one of these. Yeah, be a good friend. That's for sure. Yeah. Torum, another Torum. one of these, please. Uh, Torum just goes, all right, coming. And he brings over another. I'll say, well, while, he, while he's coming, um, what, 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 what can you tell me about about this lost air business? It sounds really interesting. Yeah. Uh, 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 you know the lost heir? I've, I've met him. Yes. Yeah. In fact, yeah. in fact, we kind of we kind of fought alongside him against that dragon in the in the wherever district it was. Protectors and clay. Uh, you may have fought alongside him, but I I'm his best friend. Yes, I am. Yes. Uh, see, uh, he pulls out. A amethyst badge, the same one that you guys have received from the lost there. It kind of shows it on his cuffling and just goes, eh, see here, yeah, this this is a gift from his friend. And uh, I, 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 I pull out yeah. I pull out a matching matching badge. This is like uh, me too. hell friend. Looks like we're looks like we're looks like we're uh kind of working the same angle on this then. So you do know him. Right then, I guess we are kind of friends. Then, yeah, right? yeah. Um, in fact, yeah. I, I saw, I saw, uh, I saw another battle go down over at the over at the gate earlier. Looks like, uh, looks like the Never Ember's guards aren't doing too well right now. Looks like they're getting their butts kicked by the dead rats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. meant to add mercenaries in this militia. It's all fucking useless. There, please. See the death threats. We we control this place. Yes, we do. Yes, yes. So, do, do you get any benefit from it? <laughs> he just sits back in the armchair. It's a long story. You see, I uh, uh, used to uh, used to work for the death threats. A bit of a consultant, uh, but my half sister. Uh, uh, what is her name again? Pascal, yes. Pascal. She's working with the state rats and uh, I used to be kind of in contact with them. In fact, I was the one who kind of set up the meeting with the... Uh, you kind of cleans and closes the sands of all again there. The rebels, yeah, the rebels, yeah. And, uh, and we got a meeting with Pascal and 
and all is fine and dandy now. Everybody's working together against this fucking government. Yes. Yeah, f yeah fuck never ember. Yeah, fuck him. Uh, but, uh, uh, so you just so hear what's the, so what's the what's the next step then? Uh, it's easy. You see, you see anybody here that doesn't like the lost air? He gives them this, and he just pulls out his short sword, and it's a thin, fine rapier. You can tell that it is not a simple short sword. Yeah, got this here. It's a gift from my past. Is the best gift. Just, just stab him in the gut and let them bleed out. These motherfuckers, they don't deserve the same space that we do. Indeed. Yes. So have they brought him his drink yet? Yes, yes. Torog kind of like leans over and like, uh, here you go. Uh, passes you the drink and kind of uh, looks so, at Charles. And you can see he kind of just shakes his head as he kind of walks away. So like... Um... Where can we find more like like-minded comrades? This one right here. Am I not enough for you? Huh? You need more. Uh, oh, sure. Of course. sure. Actually, would you? Would you? Uh, do you of course. Do you know of, uh, of, of you know of, of where we can go to where we can uh, learn more about this and, and maybe get involved. Make me a persuasion check. Do I still get the advantage since he's drunk? No, not anymore. Just a regular no, procedure. And no guidance since you used it last time. I, I should, I can't. No. I, and he kind of looks you up and down, just goes, You're a funny sort. Uh, you and your Chinese armor. You're noble as well, sir. You reach. <laughs> Why are you so interested in talking to this? I, well, uh, you I've, got a little, I've got a little bit of coin, and I'm looking for I'm looking for something uh, to invest in for the future. You say you've got coin, and his eye almost glints in this like menacing way. Well, from what I know, all the lost earth friends. I just as to it poor as me. And he stands up onto the chair mm -hmm. and points his sword at you like menacingly. He goes, I think perhaps your friendship needs to be tested. Eh? Why are you so interested with the lost air? You'll find us if you need to talk to us. Well, I, 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 I hold out the badge. I said, you think I'd, you think I'd really care about it if I, if I, if I didn't already... Um, come on, man. We just have a little bit of have a little bit of history with him. I don't know whether you speak the truth or are just... you fucking lying in my Are brain. you are you call are you calling a paladin of Torm a liar? Uh, I call it when I see it. Huh? And just looks around. Mm. You sure you're not from? Uh, you sure you're not from the Protector's Enclave? You sure you're not working for that bastard Never Ember? You sound oh. like one of his peoples, always acting, always we're, pretending to be good. We're new in town, actually. Uh, oh, no, I'm. I'm just. I'm just going. I'm just going to. I'm going to look him dead in the eye and I'm going to say I will always do what's best for this city. Make me an intimidation check, please. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> you stare at him like eye level and he like even more like steps up onto the, like the uh, arms rest and gets him to like an even higher level than you just like stands up on the chair and goes that don't like the way it's your iron meal you bloody boy all right so when, when, when he when he says that i'm gonna i'm just gonna i'm just gonna reach out and i'm gonna bash his head against the table oh right right so this happens the moment you try to reach out for him, he just goes, Yeah, I remember 
you cracks the sun yourselves as you kind of reach out. You see his wrist kind of flick outwards as he hurls this gray pallet to the floor. As smoke just envelops all of you. <laughs> and you hear a voice shout out, These people's been working for now! And you guys are within this dark blackened smoke right now. Everything is obscured for the time being. And you cannot see Chow. You cannot uh, at the time. And with that, you see a bunch of people from the other tables and around you start to stand up and pull out swords and rapiers and light crossbows. As everyone, please roll me some initiative. Joy. Uh all right. Yeah. Ah <laughs> oh, man. Of course. At least I got a good uh, roll. Uh, I mean, wow. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I don't know what I'm going to I don't know what I'm going to do with this since everything, everything so no, I don't have thunderclap. Oh. Everything's so dark. He, he literally has almost no spell slot. Yeah. Oh. Oh, right. Uh, okay, here's the question. Should we leave Snow out of this combat, or do you want Snow to help? Uh, actually, I'll, 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 I'll run Snow. Okay, okay, no problem. So no. Let, me, let me roll uh, his initial. Uh, Snow's far yeah, away yeah. enough. Um, Rose's pretty far, but she can... She can yeah. Enough, oh man! Wow! Wow! wow. 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 He's, he's, wow. he's got the he's he's got the, he's got the disguise of a dead rat down. Good, right? Yeah. <laughs> so he's good. gonna wait to see who's he's gonna wait to see who's winning before he chooses a side. Oh, definitely. <laughs> definitely. Uh, okay, I gotta. Be good. Oh, I got one, two, three, four, five, five. Six. Ooh. Rolling. Oh no. Why? I, have, I, have Why? A feeling, I have a feeling, guys, it's one of those nights where I'm rolling pretty high. I have a feeling. Just just a, just just the heads up. Oh boy, this is not good. Ah, they move after me, so this is pointless. Shit. Oh somebody jump in. Oh wait, is this no? No. No. Okay. No, no. Uh, righty then. And six. Yeah, we probably use that's the most easier this way. Let me get this all the way up. Okay, Mogro first. Kasaba will go first. Oh, sorry. Kasaba will go first. Then the dead rats. Mogro. One, two, three, four, five. Wait, who's not in turn order right now? Kasaba. I'm, I'm in. Oh, top right. Oh, yeah. There you are. Sorry, shit. Okay. It's, so. It's... It's Charles that's not in the in the initiative. Oh, he's in. Just that you can't see him right oh, now. Right. So let's get this combat started. Um, as you guys all look around, some of the men uh, that are either drunk or kind of like sitting around barely just immediately stand up, and just goes, "Kill them! Kill them! These fucking pretenders!" With that cassava, it is your turn. What would you like to do? I don't know. Uh, I. Hmm. Shit. Uh... Can I see outside of the smoke? Or like, what can I see actually? So, as long as you're in the smoke, you are completely obscured right now. So right now, no one can see me. That, 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 that is correct. Okay, okay, but I can see that guy. I guess can't see Char, right? You can't see Char, but doesn't mean you can't know where he is. With a perception check, obviously a disadvantage, you can kind of like guess where he may be within the smoke. Okay. Would would that perception check be be an action or that perception check would definitely be an action. Just to kind of like look to see where he is, or hear, like kind of listen to. Oh, uh, okay, okay, okay. I am actually. Hmm. I'm gonna. Uh, 
from here actually I'm going to try to shocking grasp like where he oh was. Oh my god, Snow is here! Oh, yeah, oh my god, oh no! My god. Oh, Xavier is come! <laughs> oh, Xavier is come! I'll let Snow take over. Okay. Okay. Hey, can we can we rewind? Can, you want to rewind? Ten no, minutes, uh, two minutes before no, this combat uh, happens. That's... I'm so I just, yeah, I just woke up. Sorry. Uh, yeah, I'm so uh, just a quick just a quick recap. Snow, uh, you guys have reached the uh the, the house of a thousand faces. You're still in the disguise of one of the dead red bandits, and you're kind of speaking to Theris. Obviously, uh, since you already know that this is a Harper cell, and you've tried to, you basically tried to start a conversation with, <laughs> uh, for, uh, with Ferris, and all of a sudden in the tavern, you hear commotion as you hear, Hey, and never embers, do good buddies, kick them, kill them. And there is a loud explosion in there. Just to let you know, that's all that's happened so far. That at least from your perspective, what you know, <laughs> you weren't with the group. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm gonna move here and like shocking grasp the chair where he was. All right, you try to shocking grasp the chair. Make me an attack roll with disadvantage, please. Okay, let's try. Let's try this. Let's try this. Ah, oh, no, that's not gonna work. Yeah. Nah. Oh, with an 11. Okay. As you swipe, he goes, ah, oh, There must be embarrassing here. <laughs> uh, I guess that's it for now. All right. End of your turn. That right. That is. Uh, okay. Oh, wait. I should just double check. How big is this thing? Uh, do, 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 do. It is a 10 foot radius, right? 10 foot. 10 foot radius means 20 feet. Yep, correct. Okay. Oh, so actually it should be, yeah, I'll say. Yeah, it should be a little bit, it should be four by four if it's 10 foot radius. Oh, four by four, it is four by four, right? Four by four. But the center would be a bit weird. Yeah, yeah, but it is a four by four right now. So we'll just leave it there. I'll say it kind of spreads to the corners of the walls and it kind of stops there. All right. Uh, all right. So this guy is technically also blinded within it. Uh, he is just going to slash at this advantage if he hits you. Uh... Okay. Hmm. hmm. I mean, armor, more growth again. Let me double check something. So, I'll guess for now, since those guys, you guys are sitting at the table, not really participating yet, uh, all these guys will. Okay, a few of them is definitely going to rush in. So. Chairs and tables are difficult to rain, so these guys will kind of go here into mist and smoke. So regular attacks, uh, regular attacks, regular attacks. Wow. Uh, 15. Now, nah, fuck this, you know what? He's going to stay, he's going to stay right here. And this one is going to stay in this corner as well. For now. Oh, shit. So, uh, Mogro, uh, four attacks are coming at you. It will not be at disadvantage, just regular attacks because they're technically blind. In, they're also inside the... They can't see me. If they yeah, can't see me, they can't, they they can't, they can't get advantage. Yeah, yeah, they can't get advantage, but they... You no, can't they can't get advantage. Them. If they can't get advantage, yeah, they yeah, have yeah. Chill, 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 chill. So they can't see you, and you can't see them. So attack... Disadvantage and advantage cancels each other out. Therefore, it is a no, regular. No, that's just it, though. They don't have advantage because they can't see me. Uh, okay. In order so, to gain advantage against a foe, you have to be able to see them. Um, so that tactics doesn't doesn't change what advantage means. Okay. So uh, just to let you know, the attacks will are, are coming at you. They are in. You can't see the attacks. Therefore, those attacks are at disadvantage. Regular attacks it will be all be at regular attacks. Same for you. Any attacks that you make upon them will also become regular attacks. They won't be at disadvantage. Come on, come on, come on. Fine, One, two, fine. three, four. Attacks are coming in. So they have uh, three attacks. They will start making one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve attacks. Oh my goodness. One, How two, many three, hits? four, five, One, eight. One, two, two three, three, 
four. Okay. One, two, three, one, two, four, three, five. Four. I think only four, right? Four. Is twenty. Oh wait, wait, twenty four as well. Oh yeah, twenty four as well. And five, six. One, two, three, four. Only four, then. Yeah. So twenty five, twenty six, twenty five, and a twenty four. Oh, and another twenty six. Okay, yeah, five. So Mograf, you will take nineteen plus eighteen. Uh, fine. It's fine. All together would be thirty-seven points of damage as they stab in the air in front of you. Uh, these guys over here uh, are going to fire a shot at you, Kasava. Now this would be a disadvantage, and these two also would be at disadvantage. So one shot at Kasava. Uh, shit that will hit Whoa. one hit Whoa. Whoa. no no hit, no hit. <laughs> oh, okay. Wait, how did they uh yeah disadvantage is fine yeah all right so yeah they can't see you because i'm at all in the outside of it so these shots technically yeah uh, you can see them as they're coming in uh yeah disadvantage those two will miss end of the bandits turn mogro it is your turn now You've just been slashed in the dark with these uh, bandits here. Uh, what would you like to do? I think it's a good chance for Dragon Breath. <laughs> you just need to take a step back, right? Well, as a bonus action, I'm, go I'm going to second wind. All right. Actually, I didn't, I didn't actually... Uh, okay, let me... All right, that's better. So I'm going to second wind and I'll get nine hit points back. You heal nine hit points back. No, this is easy. <laughs> and so they, they can't see me. They can't make opportunity yeah. attacks against yeah. me. Yeah. 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 You can run away. You can definitely just move out of the way and they can't hit you. Yeah, and they here. also cannot use sneak attack because they cannot see you. Oh my god! Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I'd be That's... I'd be dead if they could use sneak you attack. Dead. Yeah, you, you just you just sent twelve. You just sent twelve attacks on me from people who can't even see me. Yep, yep. They just slashing at the, the duck. All right. Technically, you could make a, an attack, right? Uh, your attack first, and then move away. You you kind of know that they're surrounding you. you Do I need to be able there. to see him to Vow of Enmity him? I think so. I'm gonna stop him. Is it V? Is it V? Do, does it need to be? I think so. No, no. Vow of Enmity is an ability. So I, I think it, it, needs, it will say usually, right? Yeah, it usually, it usually, usually says. Looking for it. Yeah, I'm looking for this too. Uh, I'm not sure myself. A uh, creature you can see. Uh, oh. Yeah, 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 you can see them. Can, can I see? Can we see outside, outside of the smoke? I'll say you can see. Um, wait. No, no, right. Yeah, yeah. You can't see outside the smoke for now. Okay, okay, okay. Mm. Yeah, you're basically you're blinded within the smoke right now. Okay, okay. Mm. Go so the blind versus the blind is a regular thing. Okay. <laughs> Go to the edge. I'm not gonna do enough damage to do anything to these guys. You can't even uncanny dodge. Come on, damn. Oh god, do you still have dragon breath on you? I do. Like I said, it's not I'm only gonna do 3d6 damage. And your angle is awkward too. You can't hit all of them. I can oh. hit all of them. Yeah, you can, you can. Yeah. All I have to do all I have to do to hit all of them is mm -hmm. move to the spot right here. Yep, yep, yep. That's true. Is this considered... Or here, or here, or here, or here. I can tell us, I don't know who they move here. Move here. Move here. Oh, here. Hey, wait, does this, does this consider unseen area? More area? Yeah, yeah. So this this entire area right now is obscured. Thank oh, okay, okay, okay. I'm yeah, I think this, this one is better. Do I, and does the smoke uh, does the smoke look like it's starting to clear up any at the end of his turn? Yeah, it would probably clear by the end of his turn. It is just a smoke pellet, so it would probably clear after a while. Or a strong wind might clear it too. Um, oh, yeah. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> 
Did, did he act on 23 with him, or does he have a separate Anish? Uh, he has his, who? Charles? Charles, uh, that yeah, was just the beginning of combat. Different, yeah. yeah. Yeah, he basically has a smoke pellet in his hand, and and in time somebody tries to do something intimidating. This is what happens. No, I just don't see him on the list of initiatives. So oh, I don't know, no, he's, agree with everybody else. He's, no, 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 he hasn't acted yet. Yeah, he's an, no, an, yeah that's what I'm just saying. I don't, I don't see his turn on the on the initiative. Yeah, yeah, he exists, but it's, yeah it's and good. you attacked me twelve times, which means that all four of them had to attack me. It's hidden. He's hidden. Yeah, yeah. all four of them hit him. He's hidden right now. Oh, so there's there's a fifth guy that we don't see? Yeah. It's oh, Charles. yes. It's Charles. You don't see Charles at the moment. He's just kind of like uh, drunkenly in the smoke kind of like... Wait a minute. Then you added another you added another token here because the guy wouldn't hear. Yeah, yeah. he's this hidden. Right he's hidden. He's hit. No. No, yeah, I'm, no I'm saying... He's the guy that was there. Weird. He's the guy that was there. Yeah. yeah. Because... This guy just moved. Oh, wait, this one. Is, he, yeah. This person was there, and this person was over there. But the only the, no, it's these a, these these, there was one, these three moved there was over. One guy. There was one more. Yeah, these three moved over. There was one more guy here. He was just standing here. He was already there. Yeah, he was already there. That would have been so much easier. If people had their same same portraits. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this dude. Where do you want? Uh, there's no, there's nowhere, there's nowhere where that I can go that they can't get at me. So because yeah, yeah. they can bonus action dash and move and still do whatever the fuck they do. Go here, go here. Mm -hmm. I know that's not. not see. Technically, really. everyone inside there is blinded right now, so you can yeah. do whatever you like. Yeah. As long as you end. But yeah, but I don't have advantage, and I can't see them to give myself advantage, so it's not going to matter. Regular attack. You could move, just get get out of there and, and move somewhere safer. Because yeah. they can't see you. Yeah, you can just move out. And they don't know where you are going, <laughs> because they can't see oh. you. Yeah, yeah you that, can, that's pretty far. You have enough movement speed to come to us. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Technically, technically, yes. Also, the mirrors and the mannequins are going to be interesting. You know what? I'll go ahead and do that. I'll move to there. Yep. No problem. That was your movement. And then after that, I'm going to move over to here. Action dash. Was Action dash? dash. Yep. Wait, where are our tank going? <laughs> <laughs> the tank is bleeding out right now like Caesar, so he, he's going back. <laughs> he's heading back <laughs> to the back lines to, to heal up first. Tank? <laughs> it's not a big Actually, what I'm going to do, in, instead of doing that, I don't want them thinking that I went up the stairs. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to move like I'm heading around the stairs, and then I'm going to die and go back. <laughs> oh, it's okay. Okay, no worries. Nobody, that, way, that, way if uh, that way, if they're, if they're saying he ran outside, maybe I can buy us some time and they'll go outside to chase after me. Maybe, 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 maybe that'll work. Maybe. All right, anything else, Mogura? That's all it. I can do. That's bonus action, move, and action. Hey. Actually, no, it's not all I can do. Yep. Haste? Do you have haste? You still got a bonus Wait, are they, Do these stairs go up or out? They go upwards. So they hit up to the, uh, the inn uh, where the rooms are on the second floor. All right, then. I'm going to go ahead and action surge. Wow. And I'm going to lay on hands for 25. Oh, that's better. That's better. As you heal yourself for 25 hit points. Yep, the wounds and the cuts immediately close themselves up over. Uh, so I've got four points that's... left I can use on somebody. Cool, no problem. End of your turn, Mogorov. Uh, do you still want to use a bonus action? Oh, no, a bonus action was uh, second win. Okay. Yep. Yep. Oh, right. but I, I, and I, I can't get a second action since I didn't attack. Oh, hi. Yeah, sure. No problem. Charles still in the chair actually, and he just goes. Ah, ah. He will run right here. No, actually, he can still stab you. Yes. Yeah. He unfortunately is not affected by the smoke pellets. Uh, wait, I'm gonna do recharge first. Recharge. Oh. Oh. Right. Oh. Oh, what? Okay, never mind. Oh. oh. Of course. Oh man. Of course. Wow. Uh, he is. Oh my god, Kasava, I think you're going to get the brunt of it. Uh, he is going to stab you with short sword three times with advantage. 
but so you can see him. But he if he could see, see could he have stopped <laughs> me from leaving? Oh no, he's already used his action, so it wasn't his turn yet, so he didn't use his opportunity attacks. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wouldn't he have gotten an opportunity attack as I left? Nope, not this time. Nah, not gonna hit me. Nah, not gonna hit. What? Uh, okay. Shield, 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 Wait, I guess. No, 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 shield is no. No, I'm not gonna shield with a level four spell slot. <laughs> wow. Wow. Uh, you will take ten, 10 piercing damage. Wow, plus five. Oh, maybe, I'm, I'm, maybe, maybe I might shield. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. Uh, you will take twenty-two mm, mm. points of piercing damage. No, no, no. Uh, I won't. I'll take twenty-two points of piercing damage. Wow. <laughs> okay. And see how how big it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. I just do it from here. Because technically, can come out of it. That's why I don't use the aura once he moves. Oh, yeah. an aura would probably do better because it would show the. Uh, er, yeah, if you had a twenty by twenty exact, aura that you yeah, could do. Show the exact space. Yeah. Maybe you have and a ten foot, ten foot radius aura. A ten foot radius aura would be probably be better. Maybe have it's a like. Quite big. It's quite large, man. If you think about it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah Maybe okay. have All a right. like so a token, an invisible token, and then use it. And make an aura oh, around that. That is way big. That is that is quite big. Anyway, uh, as the smoke pellet comes do, up, do uh, do uh, Morgoth's aura. My aura oh, yeah. is ten feet. Yes, you did. Oh, yeah. I gave you thirteen. Violet sanctuary. Yeah, I saw. Okay, done. Yeah, that, uh, that's so... how big. That's how big the smoke cloud would be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but yeah. the aura from him would be ten f him, and then ten feet outwards, would it not? Instead of yeah, like a pure ten foot radius. No, it's it would be ten feet from the square that he dropped it in. Yeah, which would be the square that he's in right now. So would it be a uh, it would it be okay, I'll use a circle for now, so technically anything along the edges yeah, here for now. That's, we'll say, that's good. We'll say ten feet, ten feet, it should hit the corners as well. So uh yeah. Mm -hmm. It doesn't no no a ten foot radius oh, is a circle, so it wouldn't yeah. be a it wouldn't be a square. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. I'll say I used it like a spear, like that. All right, sure, no problem. So right now he's going to take two attacks against you, uh, Snow with advantage. First one. Oh no! What is all the freaking natural twenties? Oh no! Oh seven. Okay. All right. You take a stick at that. Can you use the thing? Oh, I see her. She's still oh. alive. She's oh, she's alive. inside. She's oh my. Okay. Wait. 32 damage from the first attack. Second okay. attack. Uh, can he dodge? No. Would you like to? No, he can't. Yeah, he can't uh, can he dodge that ball? Yeah. Okay. No. Okay. No. He can. He needs to see. He needs to yeah, see. Even even for Charles, so he he has to be able to see. But he yeah. But anyway, he can see through his smoke right now. Uh, uh, actually, that's actually 28 sneak attack damage, right? Yeah. Because he critted. No, he did twice. It's no, 25. Twice. Roll play, yeah. yeah. I think it's still roll play. It's thirty-four. Yeah. It's thirty-four damage total. No, eleven and two. It's thirty-two. Oh, it's 32. Right. All right. Eleven yeah, and fourteen. Right. Uh, second attack coming at Neko. Ah, uh, Neko. Yeah. Sorry, Neko. Oh. Neko. <laughs> Snow. Uh, I'm. Yeah. I'm fine. I mean, I'm fine. I think Snow is going <laughs> down. Snow, you take another ten. Did Did you not have uncanny dodge? You can't. You, you know, have to see. You have to see. Exactly. You have to be able to see. Yeah, you have to be able to see the attack. So. Oh, I, it's not like the attack. Yes. Okay, Snow is still standing. Okay, Snow, Snow is still, still alive for now. Uh, and yeah, Snow is alive for now, and Charles is now going to. So that's why I need. I kind of need this. Yeah, I kind of need this. Uh, let's see what. Let's just draw. Let's draw a square. It'd be easier. No, just an invisible token, and then put the aura around that token. Yeah, take out a new token and make them invisible or something. Let's use... What happened to <laughs> why, why this astral? Yeah, I was trying to give the spiritual weapon an aura, but but I can't make it appear. Oh, okay. 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 So, uh, 10 feet radius, we use that. That's there. Or move, ah, him, move him to the GM layer or something. Yep. So that. Zoop. Ah, better. And he will move off. You hear steps <clears throat> moving away from you, Snow. End of Charleston. Let go. 
All right, here we go again. Uh, I will. Hmm. Let's see. I will use. Sorry, guys. Uh, I have to use it. Uh. At the end of Nicholson, you will be. Yeah. Yeah. I see, yeah. I see. Uh, we blow the fan. <laughs> I I have to. I don't have the choice, but you know, it's gas of the wind. This way, I'm guessing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, right, right. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's true. Okay, sure. That'll actually that get rid of the cloud too. Immediately, yeah. the cloud disappears, and you guys see. <laughs> Child, it's right in the corner, right there. Oh wait. Are you, you need blowing, to make you blowing which which direction? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Into the corner. If, if it's here, then it won't hit. If it's here, then it won't hit. Into the corner. Yeah. I'm, I'm trying yeah. to change its angle, but I don't know how. Nah, nah, don't bother. Yeah. Like this way, like I I try to hit this guy because it's ten feet. Yep. Sure. No problem. It would it's actually get two two diagonal to you and him. Yeah. It? Yeah. 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 Mm. Like this. Yeah. Like this. I just, I just yeah, yeah. don't know how to change the angle of the square thing. Uh, that's cool. That's cool. No worry. <clears throat> so with that, uh, the gust of wind will be occurring right there. Uh, we can use this box instead. So it's only at the beginning of their turn they need to do something, right? Yeah, yeah. that's true. Yeah. Okay, sure. But, but when you uh, move that, yeah. All right. So uh, you start oh, yeah. blowing onto the fan. Oof. Bonus action. Yeah, that's considered as uh, not that, not attack, I suppose. So. Mm -hmm. Can can no. Uh, you for can my bonus. Yourself. Yeah, what? You you can heal yourself with your bonus action if you want. That's true. Uh, yeah, I will use my. Oh, should I use step of the wind? Uh, should I should passion defend or? Oh boy. If you step of the wind, the gust is gonna follow you wherever you go, so you could end mm -hmm. up getting us in it if you're not careful. No, no, no. I mean the passion. No, no, not not step of the wind. Uh, I mean the passion of defense. Yeah, that might be good. Dodge, 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 might, you, dodge uh, might be good. Dodge might be good. Yeah, dodge is good. Dodge works. You could just take the dodge action. You'll get. They'll get disadvantage on you. Because the 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 spell is an action. Unless he has. Yeah, the, the bonus action. The patient defense. Actually, I defend bonus action. He's using my key. Then just uh, then just attack. That's that's go, good. Go, go. Try to get try to get rid of the guy between you and me. He can't attack. He, he, attack he right can't now attack. He, uses yeah, he already used an action. Can yeah, you patient defense. Dodge with a bonus action. Yeah, patient defense. Oh, yeah, yeah. Patient defense. patient defense. Oh right. Oh. To heal myself, I need to use my action. That's a problem. Ah, huh. Okay. No, there patient defense. That patient works. defense is good. Yeah, patient defense. Yeah, dodge everything. Patient defense. All right, patient defense is on. You are now technically dodging. Yeah. End uh, of your turn. Is it? Yeah. 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 That's true. All right. Nice. Um, Thank Larry. you very much. That worked a lot. Thank you. Uh, I will go down and attack this guy. Destroy them. Oh wait, this guy is no longer stunned. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but go ahead. Advantage anyway. Mm -hmm. Oh, never mind. That would I think. Oh, okay, with those two attacks, that will definitely lob his head right off. Yeah. Come on, baby. You can okay. do it, Larry. I will move into his space and second wind. That's my turn. Okay. Eh? No you don't have second attack? Turn. Mm -hmm. uh, attack ready. Oh, what? forgot. Okay. Oh, yeah. Go, Queen. Mm -hmm. um, I activate Radiant Soul, I think. Mm -hmm. Yes, I will activate Radiant Soul. And then I'm going to... Uh, that's my action. With my bonus action, I cast Sanctuary on myself. Mm. That's better. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Interesting. That's interesting. Okay. So you can't sanctuary yourself. Yes, and that will be. And then you get temporary hit points. Yep. Nice. All right. End of your turn. Snow. All right. Cool. Um. Help me, Snow. Ah, <laughs> uh, should I risk it? If you can hit him and put him down, I would do it. You get two attacks on him, right? Oh, I'll just look at you. One. As the wind blows in him, try to. I'd steady aim and shoot him with the bow then. Yeah, set to, you know, keep damage you. Yeah, I'll. Hang on, shooting against um, the wind is disadvantage, right? No, 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 no. Yeah. Nothing. Uh, no, no, no. It doesn't say anything about it. Yeah, yeah. 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 Because of anything about 
yeah, range attacks, no problem. Actually, I, no, I, w I would, I would try to get away from him because you, you, if, if, if you don't hit him or whatever, all he's got to do is take a couple of steps towards yeah. you, and hit you. Even at, even at difficult terrain, he'd still be able to reach you. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Go. You might as well come over here and uh, stab this guy with a sneak, sneak attack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Move to where you can shoot someone in in advantage in a uh, sneak attack range. Um, is this couch uh, cover? Mm, the couches and chairs would not provide cover. The mannequins are large enough to block a singular person. They're about five foot. Uh, I play, bro. <laughs> I behind <be> Blarina. <laughs> Why is this so? Oh, it's not... um... Or get it, get adjacent to me. There is glass on the ground, just to let you know, right here. Yeah. I might be thinking of just yellowing it and just stabbing Chow with the poison rapier again. Oh, <laughs> wow. I mean, if he goes right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. at, at, at that range. Uh, but it's, it's sort Throw of. The sword. <laughs> throw the rapier. <laughs> yeah, it did <didn't> work. <laughs> no, don't, don't throw the rapier. Alcohol. He'll just Fire catch it and use it on you. You could throw something at it. He just picks it up. Thank you. Now he's doing this. <laughs> but he can't use. Uh, it's... Yeah, you can use them both at the same time. Technically. Yeah. Uh, How about the caltrops or the ball bearings? Yeah. Uh, they're they're rogue types too. The deck's probably good. Yeah. Also, also just to let you know, the windows are open, and technically you can get out of them. Yeah. They are. Yeah. The are wide open. Also, the doors as well. Oh, tut, tut. So he could technically just run outside and run back in. <laughs> Actually, yeah. why didn't I run outside? Fuck, I should just run outside. Oh, fuck, never mind. <laughs> Actually, that's outside. not a bad idea. Go outside yeah. the window, do a hide as a bonus it. action, and then sneak attack him with the, with the rapier. Los. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> here, go right here, from here. <laughs> from here. Oh, that. So no, you wouldn't be able to. You wouldn't be able to hide while you're adjacent to him because he'd be able to opportunity attack you as you duck out. But if you go out that window, move over, hide, and then you can technically see Charles from where you are right now. It's a sliver of him. He will have half cover from you, obviously, since you are guys. Uh, yeah. I think melee, cover does, does melee have half cover? If I go, no, no, melee has no cover against. Has no such thing as cover. There's cover is only applied to range attacks. Okay, um, in that case, um, I mean, this is not really much different. If I go here, I can, he's, if I stab him with the poison rapier, he still can retaliate and then I'll be outside of view, which is worse. Mm -hmm. Then uh, don't do it. Like I said, move over and kill one of the other guys on us so that we can move. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Snow is going get to... adjacent to me. I can intercept an attack. Oh yeah. Um. Uh, first action high. Yeah. This. Um. That's right. Move here and then high. Okay. Bonus action high. Uh. Just to let you know, right now, you are not hidden from anyone because you are just right behind the window. Unless you go oh. alone. Oh. Um. Oh, it's a tall window. Um, uh, yeah, I'll go here then. Yeah, yeah. You'll be hidden from anyone that you, like everyone that is basically within this range here. Charles does see you as you see him as well. Oh, uh, no, I, I, I don't want him to. Okay. Yeah. I'll All right. right. You see, no, it's Charles still sees you. Yeah. I can't win, but can I? <laughs> if you, wait, let me just check. Me like just, I said, take out the one between me and Quain. Uh, I, I think Charles sees you, even though you're outside, quite literally. Maybe can uh, aim this guy first. Yeah. Unless you take dodge. Yeah, yeah. so it's yeah. up to you. It's up to you. In that case, I'm going to move up here. Mm -hmm. um, 30 feet. And uh, that guy. don't don't stand there. If you stand there, they have advantage on you. Get adjacent to me, but not on them, so you can shoot them with your bow. Oh, um, I was thinking of stabbing them, and I get advantage anyways. 
It costs flanking. Yeah, it's okay. okay. You might kill them. It might be better. Uh, you kill, if you don't kill them, they're going to get sneak attack damage on you, and they'll go before I do. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, but they can. Yeah, you know what? I'll move back here then. Oh, choices, choices. All right, Snow. Oh, it's right here. Okay, just to let you know, tables and chairs are difficult terrain, so that would be. Yeah, actually. That's 25 feet. You need another 10 feet to get into here. Yeah, yeah, then that's the max you can go, or you can go to any yeah. just go right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So you go here, Chip. and then what would you like to do? Oh, yeah, okay. and then I am going to uh shoot this guy, or this guy, this guy. So you roll yeah. the attack. Uh, oh, oh. 19 will hit as he shoots him right in the back four with sneak attack. 20 damage. Maybe I should have kept and cut your dash for this one. Oh, he is bloody. Oh, nice. Uh, <laughs> and then bonus action. I still have one more healing potion, which I'm going to down. All right, down your healing potion, no problem. And that will be the end of your turn, right? Uh, and then you'll get temporary hit points as well. Yeah. Okay, sure. End of your turn. Top of the round. Kusava, where are you? I'm going to... So wow. 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 Of course. Uh, I'm going to move here. And, uh, well, I'm going to chill touch these two guys. Oh, only some attack. So the guy behind the left from the top. That will miss. I don't know what that is. I also don't know what that is. 21. 21 will hit. 21 will hit for 13 necrotic damage. Is this technically an attack? Yes. I, I don't know. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. So is he's it? got uncanny dodge that. Just in case. Is it? Uh, he will take <laughs> six. Six damage. Six necrotic damage? Yes. Yes. And mm, spell attack counts as well. Yeah. Da, 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 that. That's it, I think. Okay, sure. End of your turn. How much movement? Is it? One, Bandit's two, turn. Uh, Snow, you see this one. Look at these girls. Okay. Looks at Charles. He's still in surprise. No, I have Get that one. And this one is going to come right here for you. Oh boy. This one is gonna stay where he is and shoot. No no no, he's rushing to Mogro here. Yeah. Okay, how are we gonna do any oh, boy. here? All looks very precarious. I don't think so. Yeah, okay, sure. So this one is gonna make three attacks against you. Oh fuck, no, no advantage, no nothing. Okay, just be three regular attacks coming at you, Valerian. Here we go. One, two. Sorry to disappoint. Wow. 32, okay. 23. Oh, these two hits for nine, four and four. You take eight damage. No yeah. sneak attack because okay. no no advantage and no people's behind. Um, this guy will. Uh, this guy hit. will definitely hit you. You'll be at disadvantage because of patient defense. So uh, wait, oh. wait, 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 wait. Uh, I need to do the DC. Huh? Beginning of, beginning oh, of this yeah. turn. Beginning of this turn. Because so. Gus, 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 Gus. Uh, wait, wait, technically... Does it hit both of them? Yeah, technically, yeah, actually, I think it technically hits both of them. I'll just do strength saving first. Yeah, it hits both of them and, yeah. and, and Charles. Then he wouldn't okay. be able to... Charles well, he, he can move. Back, so. Wow, okay, the open! <laughs> uh, he gets pushed back 15 feet, right? Yeah, 15 feet. 15 feet. I'll say into the... Into the... Uh, and they're not prone, I believe. Yeah. No, they don't. And not, they don't get knocked prone. Uh, so still, um, still can come back just to the... Push. Yeah, you just run back and basically yeah. it'll be difficult to rain, but yeah, yeah. get this bonus action to dash. Um uh, same thing. Uh yeah, this one thing. also fails, he will get pushed back 15. And now that you're like this, uh, mm, wait, wait, wait. 
because because he gave me opportunity to like not get hit, so I'm thinking right now. Like, it's difficult. It's difficult terrain also when they're yeah. if they begin their if yeah, they begin but, their turn in it. But they can bonus action to disengage, so it's no problem. Uh, bonus action to bash back in. Uh, Wait. but snow is nearer now. But snow is nearer now. No, no, we should be getting the person that is doing the the, the win. Yeah, okay, okay. So we we will we'll come back after you. Don't worry. So. Three attacks coming at you at this advantage, right? Because of patient defense. Yeah. So here we go. Uh, hold on. We have weapon that and has advantage all when the target is within and it isn't incapacitated and doesn't. Oh, this is a disadvantage, so they all don't count. Okay, no sneak attack against you. So here we go. One, two, three. Uh, oh, that will be okay. miss, miss, all miss. 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 Yep. They all miss. miss. Uh, okay, we have two. We have two things here. Mogrov, you stab this guy in the back, so he more than likely will probably stab you. Okay, so advantage on Mogrov. Here we go. One. 25 to hit. Okay. Four, eight. To eight. 13 will miss. Yes. Oh, 14 will miss. Wow, nice, nice, right. nice. Good uh, job, this Mogrof. guy behind Mogrov. Here we go. For a higher roll, <laughs> what's the damage? Uh, uh eight, eight, eight piercing damage. Okay, miss 15 it. will miss one. Oh, that was wow. okay. no. uh, uh, on that one. I will redirect. Uh, yeah, oh. yeah, <laughs> to this guy, to this guy. come on. Yeah, yeah. Kill technically, it's all the damage together, but so sneak do you put thing well. at that? Of did course, it's a sneak attack. Yeah, of yeah. course. <laughs> yeah, he did, he did, he did. He 25 plus 7. Six is, uh, 32. 32. So, 20, 50, so it's uh, 25 plus 7, 32. God dang. Uh, you see the arrow. Okay, you, you see, basically, try to stab at Mogrov, and for whatever reason, as he slashes the Mogrov, you see this guy's head just explode. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Yeah, no advantage. And Clarence's hands start to glow, like, like, like they dim back down with the cloud rune it vanishes. Done. Wow, very. Uh, this not one the not the is going to attack. <laughs> no, no, now maybe we should have done what. Oh. Okay, attack the snows. Here we go. Regular attack in snow. No sneak attack. One, two, three. Oh, oh mother! No. Every yeah. one gonna, of gonna, them. I'm gonna intercept the natural hit. twenty. Okay, so the intercept on the natural twenty will go towards you. You will take. No, yeah, it just damage. blocks. No, it just blocks damage. Oh, it just blocks it. No, it just reduces damage. Yeah, it reduces damage. Oh, so you just reduce the damage. Wow, wow, zero wow. damage. Zero wow. damage. Zero damage. Okay, as you block the first one. Second one, uh, you'll take six. And the third one, you'll take five. You take another 11 piercing damage. Are you okay? Take no. no. As you see, snow, just fall. I can't even oh, no. hit points. It's 10. I have 10 oh, hit points. Oh, yeah, hit point. Nice. You only took one yeah. hit point from that, man. Technically, you can uncanny dodge one of them as well if you would like. Uh, it, it, he only, he's only taking one point of damage. Yeah, no, I am. Um, can you uncanny dodge one point? I'm saving my reaction. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. So you'll, take, you'll just take 11, yeah, and then minus off the temporary hit points. Uh, okay, end of the bandit said Mogoro. Kill that motherfucker. Uh, All right, Morgoroth is going to. Yeah, even if he hits you with a push attack, there is no sneak attack from this one at least. I'm gonna stay where I'm at and I'm just gonna attack the guy next to me. Sure, go ahead. Oops, sorry. Oh, that's, that's a lot. That's nice. I think I should, I should, I should, I should, I should uncanny dodge that. Yeah, I'll take you'll take five from that. Alright, come on, Moga. Let's see. Nice. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, same, 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 same. Alright, he'll take another 11 as you slash him, dodges the first one. The second one just cuts right down on his shoulder. Oh boy. He oh, yeah. That's it. I'm gonna yell out, I'm gonna yell out to uh, Charles. I'm gonna say, how much did, how much did the Lost Air pay you to, to betray the city? 
Ooh. Oh, great. Just, he, cut, he just goes, I can't hear you over this. <laughs> yeah, you probably can't. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So I hold yeah, the sign. How much did the lost air pay you to portray the city? <laughs> he just takes up the middle finger. <laughs> All right, done. <laughs> okay, that is the end of Bogorov. Good. Child, technically still, uh, he will be pushed into the wall. Yeah, he will be pushed anyway into the wall, right? Anyway, let's just let's just do it just in case. Um, just in case. Yeah, he can't really be pushed away. He'll he'll just be at a uh, difficult terrain moving out yeah. of the gap. Yeah, so anyway, he just gets pushed into the wall, and then uh, difficult terrain, 10 feet, and then from here, he won't be affected already. So yeah, that's true. 15, 20, ah, what to do, what to do, what to do. Throw your regular at me, lah. It's advantage on me. Oh, wait, I forgot to do something. Hold on. We judge. Oh, god damn. Yeah, uh, okay. I didn't quite like it. <laughs> 20. Okay, bonus action. He's going to go all the way over here behind you, Larry. And wow. Wow. To take some attacks against you. Here we go. Uh, One attack. Flank two. Nice. Oh, oh, two. <laughs> nice. Oh, no, double yeah. ones! <laughs> You've been bad, bitch? <laughs> <laughs> double <laughs> ones! Larry, Larry, three shot, three shot. Larry, three shot. Oh, my God. Wow. What wow! Fuck? Shot, this is, this is yeah. the first time in the history of my DMing and my rolls I have ever rolled two net ones on an advantage. So you should definitely screenshot that shit. Oh my god! It has happened to me multiple times before. <laughs> okay, la, okay, la. This is. Thank you, Mogorov, for the love. Oh, shit. Okay. He's gonna stay right there. He's gonna stay right there for now. Uh, he just goes shit, shit. Okay, all right. End of his turn. Uh, Neko. Yeah, uh, he will. Oh boy, should I use my bonus action astral arm? Hmm. Yeah, you'd have uh, oh, what, three, three, of three, of three in range to make a save. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah, that's true. Uh, this will be yo. Unless, then you, okay. Unless you want to save it for stunning strike, which could be a lot better. Yeah. Know. Do you have a, a how much key do you have? What, 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 what kind of what kind of save is it? I have four. Concept. Concept. Oh, concept, concept. Takes two to activate astral arms, right? One. Yeah. Only one. No oh, no, one. I mean oh. the astral arm save, is it? Concept? Oh with the with the with the concept yeah. for Oh the, yeah, the damage concept. or what? The damage or what? The damage? No 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 the, the save that they have to do is a concept. Concept. Oh okay, okay, okay. Up to you. What do you want to do? I don't know. Activate it, pum pummel him twice, and try to stun him. Yeah, I would say stunning is actually. Mm. I would rather keep the sun right now because yeah. it's not like they have. There's, there's four more right. guys, so like yeah. yeah. yeah there's, there's four yeah. more guys, man. Yeah. Or you, yeah. Got, you got two, you got two attacks and a bonus a attack. You can actually stun all three of them if you do it right. Yeah, 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 yeah. that's true. Yeah, let's go. Let's just go. Yeah, attack them. Okay, which one first? Uh, God damn. If I move. I cannot pass it through them, right? Right here. You should get definitely out. do the bottom one first because no, actually no. Uh, get the one to your right first. Because yes, um, yeah, move Neko can then if this one gets done, then um, you can move. Then you can move yeah. away from him and still and st without getting attacks and then yeah. attack the other the other guy. Yeah, that's true. All right, just attack this guy first. Okay. Come on, please hit. Oh, it's hit. 19 hit. Yeah. So, stunning strike. Yeah, we go. Right. Oh, wow. Tell piercing. I think he's bloody from that. Uh, Ooh. Ooh. He makes it as you hit him right in the balls. Oh. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Just continue killing him then. Just, yeah, it's fine. Just go kill him. Yeah, just continue killing him. It's fine. 17 will hit. <laughs> Uh, okay, ah. twelve. Another twelve. I mean, now he's bloody. Twelve damage is respectable. <laughs> Very. Respectable. Yeah. Very respectable. Uh, should I use flurry blow? Yep. 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 Uh, flurry blows. Wait, are you standing strike on the second one first? Let me let me think first. No. Just do it. Just do it. I mean, he's already bloody. Just do it. 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 Yeah, do yeah, it. So they, so, wouldn't, yeah, they wouldn't be able to get sneak attack yeah. on Queen if, yeah. if you if you stun him. Yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go for it. 
Okay, starting attack. Here we go. I'm sorry, my man. Oh I'm my so god. Sorry. You and your oh role. my god. I know, yeah. but sometimes they're so shit and sometimes they're so great. So I don't. Blurry blow, <laughs> just blurry blow, just kill him. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Like, Try to kill him. Yep. Yep. Just, just fuck her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just get rid just of him. Like, like the wind is helping me. <laughs> uh, boy, here we go. Uh, one, two. Wow. Wow. Okay, but the twenty-seven still hits for another yeah. eleven. Do you want to stunning strike? Let's do it. Yeah, just go for it. Okay. I can't, I can't make the save like three times in a row, right? You can. Oh, you, you can. can. You can. Oh, yeah. It's you can. Such a can. Yeah. The maximum yeah. I can do is 17, you know? Only 17. <laughs> the maximum. That's fine. The maximum yeah, yeah. DC I can give you 17. Yeah, 17. This guy's only got plus two. I've been rolling 17, 17, 18. Wow. Okay. All right. Uh, anything else, Neko? Yeah, that's end of my turn. That's okay. It. End of your turn. Larin. Uh, I should have focused my data on Charles. Fine, I'll activate Giant Smite. Oh, here we go! Okay, which direction would you like to... Grow. Let's smash! Squish Char against the wall! So, so, so here's the thing. Char's actually a small creature, so you can actually... Yeah, he's a small creature. Oh, shit, creature. fucking halflings. Go the other way. Yeah. Push the other guy away. Up to you. Push you. him into the fan. Yeah, why not? Push this guy okay. on. Alright, so this guy will definitely move this direction. Ooh. And directly into the wind. He's going it's to get in the wind already, but now it's definitely going yeah. All right. And actually, you could just pick him up and beat Charles with him. No, beat the... him. <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was thinking of it. Where are you going? You still have to grapple them. It's a way to do damage to two people. Do, <laughs> yeah. do remember that they are quite dexy. Yeah, yeah. Yes. they're they're Yeah, that's true. I mean. We'll try it once. I'll pick okay, up okay. the bloody one guy. Attack. Yeah, so one attack. So grapple. Here we go. Uh, the bloody one. Acrobatics. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. wow. Oh, never oh, wow. Never oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, now you get one. He's like, what's that? And you see some massive bitches grab onto his chest. Picks him up. Oh, what the And you see Blair, who is now the size of basically... Uh, he is hitting the chandelier. He thought Big B was oh, okay. coming to help. <laughs> wow, wow, now net one, eh? All the study strike is 17, 18, 19, no, 20. <laughs> Acrobatics roll, plus seven, some more. So it's still net one. I'm like, mm. okay, uh, uh, there's a story to be told here. Okay, so, oh, sorry. Not told, not told. No, that was the bloody, that was, that was the bloodied one he grabbed, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This guy. Oh, the bloody one, sorry. Bloody. Yeah, smash that, stop that, son of a bitch. <laughs> okay, you pick him up. What would you uh, like to do with him? I would like to smash him into Charles. Oh my god, make me an improv. Uh, so just make me a strength attack. Yeah. So advantage. Just strength. Advantage. You have advantage. Oh, yeah, you have. Yeah, yeah we have strength. advantage on the rules. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh but my god. <laughs> 22 will definitely hit. Uh, This is considered a improv. You know what? I'll give it a little bit more since it is a human medium being. Size, what medium all size weapon. person. Uh, roll me. Mm. Only one. He just got Loki. He <laughs> <laughs> just got Loki. Roll, roll me one d six, and we'll add your strength, lah, which is a four, right? Yeah, one d six right. plus four. So eight damage will be going to child <laughs> when you slam it, to fan into him. It's like what the fuck? Oh wait, eight. wait, wait. Give me. Wait, uh, yeah. Okay. Can you give it yeah. more, like d eight, lah. All right. Does the guy hit him with more damage? Uh. So does the guy. I'll say yes. So both of them take the same damage from that. Eight damage. All right. Ah, you're still flailing around in your hands. Second attack. Oh no, wait. First attack. Yeah. Right? Second attack to. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So anything else? Uh. Yes, yeah, bonus, actually. Is it an attack or, or with a weapon on an arm strike? <laughs> I mean, the improvised weapon is still a weapon, It is still right? a weapon, right? Yeah, yeah. improvised weapon is still a weapon. Yeah. Okay, Charles. So you should it. add the damage. You should add the damage of your weapon attack. Yeah, three. Oh my god, three more damage. Uh, that would oh. be me. Oh. Is the guy still alive? The guy that he grappled? Yeah, yeah. Still yes, alive? Still alive. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's all um, I can I... do. Okay, end of Larry's turn. Queen. Just a moment. Mm. Mm. 
fireboard. Don't do an attack if you can if you want to keep that sanctuary. I would really recommend not doing fireball against people. Really, <laughs> yeah. really come no, on. Do not do not. <laughs> Since you fought like you fought the dead red banners before, so you kinda know. Yeah, Cone of cold. No. Cone of cold? Con save? Yeah, I can. Yeah. As long as it's not deck safe, actually. Yeah. Mm, this is so difficult to choose. I don't think. It's a nice melee, actually. It's a nice bar fight. Pretty nice one. <laughs> just, uh, I, I just need to check the text of Sanctuary again. You can't affect other creatures. Uh, if you cast another spell, so technically, if you cast a spell now, your Sanctuary will. If I act, that affects enemy. Spell, spell, enemy spell that affects enemy creatures. Yeah, which means, which means I can. You can cast use spell I, on an ally. I, I can use. No, my... you can't. Can you use what? You can use the attack or spell on a field. To... You can oh. cast a spell that you, uh, that will affect an enemy creature yeah, or damage to an enemy. Yeah, creature. But you can heal. You can heal people. Yeah, heal you can people heal. Yeah. You can buff us if you have like yeah. bless. You know, you can also use use some items like ball bearings. Ah, you can drop it on the floor. I guess. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to I'm going to drop it uh below Charles' feet. Like oh, uh, so you're gonna throw the ball bearings now? That is going to be something very different. I need you to make an attack roll, and that the, attack roll. Well, is I mean, I could it. just move five feet and and just no, yes, it, there. Uh, a uh, level area ten foot. Uh, you, the ball bearings will cover a ten foot square, so he can drop yeah, yeah. them in, out in front of him and basically yeah, get that, all yeah, four of these you. squares. Yeah, just yeah. Like you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so I'm technically, move, move in front. you could just move, yeah, oh. you could just move right here, like that. Yeah, and then drop it. And then 10 foot square. Okay, sure. So, we'll fill that 10 foot square. With ball bearing, sure, no problem. No. Let me get my ball bearings out. Let me get my ball. Unfortunately, Baron will have to make the same save. Uh, is so, it moving it across? Yeah, like if, if he doesn't ball move, ball if he doesn't move, then it's like fine. One. Oh, moving across would would have to be. Yeah, yeah, moving across. Moving across it. Doesn't move is fine. And um. Yes, well. And also because this is not a spell or an attack, I'm going to use telekinetic push, and push the one near Nico. Uh, I mean near Snow away. Is it a spell? But it's not oh, a spell. No, it's not a spell. It's a ability. ability. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, strength saving throw. Here we go. Ooh, he, he failed. failed. Oh, oh, what's going on? And he just moves away. Uh, technically, he cannot. Yeah, Snow can't take an opportunity attack from this. Uh, yeah, and then I move move over here. I wish there was a lava hole like lava. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> Snow. I mean, would you really want a lava hole where you can fall in? <laughs> wow. yeah. Have you? Right. Have go, you? Snow. Go Snow. Go crazy. Do you know? <laughs> have you seen us? <laughs> Don't run into the wind. Don't run into the wind. You know, no one advantage. Uh, nah. You can move. You can help more growth with that. I had more growth. Yeah, you, could, have, you could do that. I'll have more growth. Okay. Um, so, just clamber over the table. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. And, um... Rapier again? The poisonous rapier? Yep. Oh, yeah. 22 will hit. Roll me some damage. I've got to roll con save. Uh, don't forget the sneak attack. We'll do all the damage first. Oh, wait, sorry. Uh, wrong weapon. Uh, I clicked on that. Poison rapier, though, isn't it? Poison rapier, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. All together is 25 damage. He's. And he's bloodied. And also, DC 12. Uh. Just makes it. He's like, oh, oh, getting a bit dizzy. And it's like, oh, what, what's that? Oh. Anything else? Um, does he have any use, like throwing items on him? Um, yes. What do, um, well, besides his light crossbow and his crossbow bolts that you can see, uh, just a short sword in his well, hand. Well, does he have a money pouch? Mm, no, he does not have a money pouch. I'm going to pickpocket his... Uh, because he's holding his sword, I'm going to pickpocket his... Uh, Crossbow. Yep, sure. Try. Go right ahead. Do I have to make this? Is a, this is a 
sleight of hand. Twenty. Okay. So right now he just. It would be inside, I think, wouldn't it? Uh, give me a second. It would be. Versus yeah, reaction. Is that like the... reaction. So it would be. Yeah. Yeah, he needs to be able to see it happening first. Okay, so uh, perception no, I'm, check. It's, I, it would be an insight check to see if he could see him trying to do it. If his insight beat is... Uh -huh. uh... Nah, it's perception. Uh, so with that, he is not able to see you as he like, stabbed into him. You basically grab the thing. He doesn't even notice it's gone uh, from his back. So you've gotten his light crossbow. Yeah, yeah, that's good cool enough. It's good enough. Okay, done. All right, guys. Uh, we've gone on for some time. It's stopped the round again. Let's take a quick five-minute break. I need to pee as well. Grab some water. All right. And then let's continue right. back onto this as well. Be right back, guys. Five-minute break. All right. All right. I guess so. Uh, this will probably be waste, waste return, but I'll move here. And uh, I will actually suggest. This guy in the hand is bloody. This guy nah, is bloody. I will actually suggest, suggest that guy to like go outside oh. and, <laughs> yeah, go outside and like count. Get some fresh air. Yeah, count the cobblestones. <laughs> count the cobblestones. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh <laughs> crap. Okay, okay, hold on. Wisdom saving throw. Yeah. Come on, come on, Rolo. Of course. Oh, I saw 18. Oh, he is just being charmed right now. Okay. And he will definitely have to do something on his turn. Yeah, I'm gonna go outside and count the cobblestones. That's it. He, he most likely will. He just starts looking around oh, yeah. outside suddenly. Yeah. Okay. Is it? Is it? And, and that's it. That's End it. of your turn. Okay. Well, I guess this guy's going to go outside and start counting the cobblestones. Uh, one. Uh, two. Three. Oh, uh, one. <laughs> I see quite a lot. <laughs> <laughs> he's like pointing. He's really pointing at the ground. One, two, three, four. Ah, oh, wait. This one. Uh, one, two. <laughs> Okay, oh shit, this one inside your hand, in Blaren's hand, I think it needs to get out, so let's try to make an... uh, can it... I... Will, it would be athletics, right? Contested athletics. Ah, oh, fuck! <laughs> Acrobatics is fine. That's Actually, fine. I'll move... No, I'll... no, no, it's, it's, it's a grapple. So once I'll it's move a grapple, behind once you've been grappled already, it's a contested athletics already. If you're trying to get out of a grapple, then it has to be athletics. If you're trying yeah. to avoid... That's what we thought, grapple. but I remember I'm looking up recently. You is can it, basically oh, score yeah. out of someone's yeah. grasp. Acrobatics can be yeah, used. Yeah. yeah. The, the, the grappler has to use strength. Ah, so must succeed on athletics or acrobatics. The so grappler has to use athletics. Either. The one who grapples. Okay, so he's gonna use the grappler can escape use using both. Either. This will be his action. Wow. Oh, this is... This is the, oh. He slipped out of it. Wow. Oh, fuck this shit. <laughs> Fine. Wait, hold on. Is it out? Is it like uh, moving out of my reach? Hmm. That is a very good. Oh, would you say that? Yes, Moving? I will allow that. Yeah. Oh wait, wait. What? No, never mind. He's gonna bonus action disengage. Son of a bitch. <laughs> He's gonna bonus action disengage. Uh, he will then have to fucking run. Ten. So that would be. Uh, yeah. I would say you were like grappling him yeah. above your head, so he just comes down. So this is 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Okay, yeah, he gets to go with that. These two guys. Okay, so this one has advantage on you, Blaren. He will take that. Yes, one. Oh, oh, no. oh, should I? Should I? Should I? I should. Okay, okay. All right. Uh, sneak attack is coming in. 17. So, That's 17 nine. Reduced to okay. 17. 9. Yes. Uh, second and third attack. Oh, no, it's 8, actually. Oh, half, half, half. Yeah, 8. Sorry, 8. Yeah. Miss, miss, miss. 22, 22 hit hits. For another 8 piercing damage reduced to 4. Okay. Uh, This one has a choice between 2. Let's roll a D2. Left. Okay. Oh, it's going after snow. Okay, this is regular attacks coming at snow. One. 
32 will hit snow. For five, and he's going to put the sneak attack. Oh, no, no sneak attack into that. There's two. Um, wait, isn't he getting disadvantaged because he's been flanked? No, no. Uh, you don't get disadvantage from flank, being flanked. Oh, right. You would have gotten disadvantage from being flanked as well. Uh, okay. Two, okay, so nine piercing from the first one. Stab. Still yeah. up? Uh, still up. Okay, second. Hey, I got a question about intercept. And Let me take a look at it real quick. I don't know yeah. if I can intercept with... So is you, the, is the enemies next to you? I think it's it's no. You have the target. The target. The target. The, the, target, the, the target of the attack has yeah. to be next to you. Yeah, the target of the person next to you. So I think all hits, yeah, yes. right? Yeah. Uh, well, yeah. So, all would uh, hit. Would you like to? When can you dodge the nine? <laughs> um. It's, yeah. Actually, I would have to uncanny dodge the nine. Okay. Yeah. So you were taken four instead, and then with the extra six, you're taken ten, and with this third attack, oh. 19 damage, yeah. I think you're going down. So how much temporary did you have? I have 13 temporary hit okay. points. So it takes 19 six, damage. Yeah. No, 19 I gave you 14 damage. again. 14? Yeah, I gave 14. you 14 again, I think. <clears throat> oh, okay. Then minus you that, you have taken 5. Yeah. Uh, 4, I think, according to the end beyond. 5. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you have temporary hit points there. All right. No problem. One, two, three. All done. Okay. Wait, is this guy done? Oh, yeah, done already. End of the rat's turn. Mogoroth. My turn? Yep. 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 All right. Well, I have advantage on this guy, so let's take advantage of it. Hey. 26 will hit for 9. And one more. Another nine. So 18 total. And, so this, uh, this one is 10, 10 damage. 19 total. 10 damage. Yeah, you have a plus one to that, don't forget. All right. Oh. And he is still standing a bit bloody, but still there. Anything else, Mogro? Uh, no, that'll. Okay, end of your turn, Mogro. Child, to recharge. Actually, no, after, after I do that, I'm going to move. Okay. Yeah. Definitely move. I'm gonna. Go I'm ahead. gonna move next. Uh, I get, let me get the map back up. I had, I had to reload it because my roll twenty is acting weird. Cool. Cool. No worries. Take your time. I'm gonna move so that I'm adjacent to snow. Yeah. No worries. Uh, depends where actually. Like right next to snow. Yep. Sure, no problem. All right. Charles then. Charles will recharge. Uh, does he need to make the saving throw on the start he, of his turn? If he moves, turn? if he moves. Only if he moves. Only if he moves. If he's standing there, he's fine, right? Yeah. Yeah. Moving across the cupboard must succeed. If he's already standing on it, then he gets off. It doesn't count as well, right? I think he's moving, getting off his move, still moving across it. If he if he starts to move, he'll have to roll because he's in the square with the, with the bearings. He if he stays foot. still, he doesn't need to. No, he's gonna stay right there. Screw it. Uh, he's gonna stay right there. But he is definitely going to throw the pellet down. So, Oof. oh come on, this smoke thing comes out again. Does the pebble will blow if I use gas wind? Just wondering. Well, gust of wind is going, so it, it won't. won't. It it said, uh, from what the gust of wind says, it does not affect. Hmm. Hold on, hold on, let me check again. This it'll only blow vapor. the sections that that would cover. Since it's a four by four square, anything that would be inside the gust of wind is going to blow away. Hmm. Okay. So ultimately, so now... the only he can get himself, Laren, and Nico in it, but the other guy won't be in it. For well, now, I'll say the gust of wind does not affect uh, um, yeah, the, the ball the... bearings. Yeah, the ball bearings, because it only says it disperses gas or vapor and extinguishes candles oh, okay, that meant that. and yeah, similar right. unfavorability. It doesn't say anything else regarding this. But the gas doesn't even facing Charles, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess you're yeah. yeah. above the ground, so that it doesn't hit the ball bearing. Mm -hmm. I'll say for now, yeah, it doesn't affect the, the smoke, but yes, the smoke is definitely coming right out now. This is a 10 foot radius. Let's put this aside, actually. 
Oh yeah, does, Eddie, does this plan get knocked back or what? Oh yeah, fuck. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, give me a second. But he'll just come back. Even you know? if he does, yeah, he'll yeah. just come back. Yeah, but, but yeah, he does, he just come back. But so let me just, just yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah he, he made it, he made it. Okay, okay. So with that, all right, he made it. Uh, Child is technically now hidden. Oh, he's gonna move. Yeah, he's gonna move. He's gonna move. So he has to make a deck saving throw. Here we go. The DC oh. is very low. Yeah. Oh, okay. Never mind. He he just yeah he runs right over the thing. Uh, he's gonna take a couple of jabs at Laren from here though. So advantage two attacks. Right. Yep. So he's make two attacks. One. Oh, twenty five will hit. And yes. he's going to add a sneak attack to that as well. So 24 12. reduced okay. to 12. All right. And the second one. And mm. five to hit as well. Take another 11 reduced to five. Yep. And then he is going to disappear. Okay. And of Charles turn. Neko. Oh, Neko mm. is now technically Neko and Blarin, you are technically blinded. Oh yeah. Mm. Uh I hate this guy. I hate totally hate it. Oh he cannot see me. He cannot see me. <laughs> yeah, but you also cannot see him. Alright, this is what I'm gonna do. Uh blow him away. Go here, blow him. Okay, okay, okay. So Wait, this would oh. definitely disperse the smoke. Yeah, this would definitely disperse the smoke immediately. I'm just going to see it for now. And that you can now see attention. Charles right here. He's comfortably standing on the chair. Ah, ah. Okay. Uh, all right, so that will be... 10 feet. Well, actually, oh. yeah. It goes like that, right? 60 feet, yeah. No, no, no. Bottom, bottom. Oh, you're facing it downwards. Okay. Yeah. In that case, it would be like that. Because if I was, like, moving like here, I would, if my mind I move, Flurry will get hit. I think we got hit anyway, right? Okay, that's fine. All right, so, okay, uh, Climbing on the so wall. Destroy the the mirror then. No, the oh, wind no. doesn't. No. no, no, the wind doesn't destroy. Stop. I did. Can I like climbing on the wall and then mm -hmm. move like move like you know that Spider Man? You can, you can. To that, yeah, yeah, you I'll, definitely have yeah. climb speed. Yeah. yeah. I will allow that. You get all the way to with that. Move here. Move. Uh, that, wait, wait, hold on. How many feet? Get? That would be let's say let's say you take five feet to go upwards So five, then then fifteen. Yeah, same. So it will be twenty, twenty-five. Okay, five. Oh yeah. Okay, here we go. All right, that's enough. Thirty. Okay, so you go all the way over here. So technically, the wind is not blowing out the window. Yeah. <laughs> over here, right? Is it? Oh, it's next team. Up to you. Yep. Yeah, that's that. That's fine as well. Oh, all right. Uh, in that case, I will. You kill him. Go ahead. Roll me a So you already used your bonus action to, re to rearrange the yeah, direction. Yeah. Right. yeah, so he just got actions on me. Oh. A27 will hit. Put a stunny strike on him. Oh, god damn. Uh, now would be a good time to having that. Oh, no. Okay, okay, okay all right. <laughs> yes. 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 <laughs> He yes. is stunned as you go right behind him, just slash him like right up the spine. He just like immediately just looks himself right here. Yeah, all right. Oh, all right. Oh, running away. Ah. Oh, I'll take it. <laughs> oh, 12 will definitely hit. Come on, roll higher, damn Roll higher. Oh, nine damage. Can he dodge shit right now? All right. Anything else, yeah. Neko? And your turn? That will end my turn. <laughs> Laren, now pick up child. <laughs> <laughs> you don't, don't even need to test it now. <laughs> yeah, I'll pick him up and smash him on the guy beside me. Yeah, go oh right ahead. 
He is a smaller creature, so this one I would say improvise damage one d four la plus your strength. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh my word. Oh wow, that will actually miss as he swipe child at this guy. Ah, uh, oh well, uh, that's me. All right, you're holding child up above in your hand. Done. Uh, technically, you can put him wherever you want, lah. You swear. But yep, yeah, end of your turn, Blaren. <laughs> throw, throw him to me. <laughs> oh wow, <laughs> too late for that. Okay, wait. Um, since uh, Vlarin is holding them in the air, I'm going to fly into the air. <laughs> I'm going to fly into the air, and while in the air, I'm going to reach over my hand and cast Inflict Wounds on him. Oh! 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 oh. 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 Did you just do 6d... Did, did you just do 6d12 damage to him? 6d10. Six six oh, but the second one was two ones. Uh, Doesn't matter. Uh, oh, three, 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 and then 119. Wow. Okay, oh. never mind. Uh, he will still take that damage, though. Uh, 20 damage is still quite a bit. I think he might be bloody from that. He's bloody. Yeah. He, he just and blamed I, me. Ah. Sanctuary. Uh, right. My, my sanctuary regular hands. sanctuary. I oh, wait. Uh, you also... Do you add... Technically, this oh, is yes, my, my, my thing. My thing. My uh, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your radiant soul. Yeah, your level. Yeah. Level. So it only has once because it, it's a it's a flat number. Once. All right. He'll still take it <laughs> as you basically do 20. radiant wow. and decorative damage to his face. Uh, Actions uh, done. Anything else? Um. Bonus action. Let's see. Bonus action. I'm going to push. Try to push this guy away so I can leave safely. Mm, okay. Sure. No problem. Strength saving throw. Push. He Yee. fails. Oh. Okay. I leave. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and end of my turn. End of Queen's turn. Snow. Twelve temporary hit points. I'm going Those to. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Fear attack. <laughs> Sava, suggestion is concentration, right? Concentration. Eight hours. Yes, okay, thank you. So I was going to move here. <laughs> yeah. Um, dagger. Dagger, dagger. Why dagger? Why dagger? Oh, oh yeah, thank, thank god, thank god, actually, yeah. So, second attack? Just hit, right? Just hit. Yeah, just hit. 15 miss. 15 miss. 15 miss. 15 miss. Oh. But the, the silver dragon does hit for 22. Uh, roll me damage plus a sneak attack. Well. Yeah, 22 oh. damage. Uh, you stab him right in the back and he just looks at you. Whoa, whoa. Okay, and then Snow is going oh, to okay. <laughs> carry to see those two over there, um, and it's just going to go. Okay. Uh, oh wait, the are the these are cover, right? The tables? No, 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 no. Tables are not covered unless you go prone. Um, only the mannequins are covered currently. But if you go prone behind a table, obviously you're not. Know, Oh, you can do that. You can do that. Yeah. I'll just move up next to the Mogra. Okay, sure. Uh, move up next to Mogra. All right. Yeah, don't forget, you can take cover behind people, yeah? Anybody that's in front of you, including enemies, give you a plus two to uh, uh, your AC. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, Snow's going to yeah. take cover behind Mogra. I'm going to take cover behind... I'm going to take cover behind Snow, no. Okay. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Imagine if this was you and it's snow, right? <laughs> okay, it's all around. Kusama. Uh, uh, Chal is considered stunned, right? So, advantage, right? Yeah. Mm. Yes, Chal is completely stunned right now. La 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 la. I think so. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, after looking through, uh, through a few like Reddit forums and stuff like that, I will allow any melee attack to be uh, non lethal. Okay, just to let you guys know. Uh, yeah, but even uh, even melee. Spell I mean, do 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 we want do we want oh, no, non weapon, weapon, do we want non lethal? I mean, I mean, he has something that we needed. Oh, I mean, he, he does. He has information we need. Yeah. He does. Ah, uh, shit. We need to know who hired him. 
I I have no non-lethal then. Um, you can kill this guy first. Yeah, yeah. I guess I I'll... have two. I have two ideas of who might have hired him, and I want to. I want to verify. Yeah. Queen has speak to the <laughs> Oh yeah, Queen has. That. Yeah, well, I'm gonna chill touch the guy that's nearly at the bottom there. Let's see. All the way there. Yeah. The one that. With, yeah, okay, sure. That one is bloody. Go ahead. Let's see. Yeah, that's gonna hit. And it's maxed into him for 11. Yep. That's it. And he is barely standing as the aura of the snake hits right into his chest. Curl. Ugh. That's it. I don't have anything else. Oh, wait. This is a. He can see you. I'm going to uncanny dodge that. <laughs> Shit, I should have shit. No, I don't have anything else. <laughs> don't have anything uh, else that can do that range. Do that. Okay, done. Yep, done. And up your turn, Kusava. Yep. Bandit's turn. This one's out there. It's like five, six, seven. I, I don't think eight, you can count that high. Oh, fast. Yeah, it just goes back to the front again. Shit. Yep. 23! <laughs> 14! <laughs> <laughs> uh, this one over here is going to. Uh, how, 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 Okay, we'll do this first. Uh, in my... We should definitely go for the big one over here, right? Yeah, okay, so these guys are going to surround you, Flaren, because you are holding on to child right now. Let go of him! Uh, Six attacks coming at you with advantage. Here we go. Got flanking. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Yep, that will hit. That will miss. That will miss. That will miss. That one. Miss. Oh, miss as well. Okay. This one over here is also going to do the same thing. What? Oh, okay, oh fuck, I forgot to, I totally forgot about sneak attack. Uh sneak attack is coming through as well. The so team. 20 reduced to 10. Yeah, and, I forgot okay. the other one is fine. Uh and the third one. Right. One, two, one, two. Wait, this is second first attack. Second and third. Miss. 19 will miss. 26 uh -huh. will hit. For another eight piercing damage. Okay. Uh, sneak, uh, sneak for him. Yeah. Wow. So, That's four, five, three. Twelve. Ow. 12. Yeah, 16 to plus 8. 12. Yeah, 12. 12. 12. Thank you. Yeah, 12 damage altogether. Done. End of... Yeah, you're bloodied right now, but end of the bandit's turn. Mogra. Well, she was the only one who wasn't bloodied? <laughs> She's the only one now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she joins the bloody yeah, party. Okay. Cool. Alright, Mogra is going to... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, uh, Bonus action, he's going to Vow of Enmity on Charl. Oh, wow. Oh, bye-bye. Bye-bye. I mean... And then we're going to take two swings on him. Okay. Non-lethal? I'm, I'm I mean, going for non-lethal. I mean, he's already stunned, so you actually didn't need to. So. Yeah, you, you don't need to do that. I mean, might as well. 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 Oh my god, the 13 misses as you swipe the air. Larry just notices you. You're like, oh, whoops. Accidentally pulls up child a little bit higher. That hits for 15. Hit him now. Hit him now. Reroll the first one. Reroll the first one? Okay. I'll use Runic Shield. Why not? Oh. Okay. Use your Runic Shield. All right, sure. Reroll one that more. That will hit. 19 or another 14. 24, actually. 20, 15 plus 14. Be we'll better, be damage damage. better damage, too. Better damage, too. Yeah. 29, and he can't, he can't uncanny dodge it because he's stolen. Yeah. He can't even scream in pain as you stab at him. All right. Anything else, Mogorov? And I'm, I'm going to say. Think about what you did. <laughs> you see his eyes just look, just roll around and like, oh, you can't even say. <laughs> All right, anything. Oh, okay. End of your turn. Charles is yeah. done. Neko. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell the two Neko, around he's no him, longer standing, right? You have, it, you have until, until he's unconscious to get the hell out. Oh. <laughs> make me intimidation check. I love that. Yeah, make me intimidation check. Yeah. Just quick one. Intimidation. Normal. 14. 14. Uh, oh, we'll see. We'll see. This guy's our kind of fine for now. 
So oh, they they don't see Paterp at least. They're still caught in the midst of combat. Neko. Because I'm gonna say we only we only need him alive. We don't need you alive. Oh shit! Yeah. yeah oh. Was... <laughs> we already killed three Neko. of you. <laughs> as you can yeah, see, as you can see. Yes, as you can see. As he turns around, Neko. <laughs> yeah, he gives that to my bitch. You see, you you just stab you, you oh, him right through his guts. Oh, and he just falls right down. Okay, who's next? Uh, yeah, Chow. And Chow and this guy will kill him. Technically, we just keep this one. That's right. I mean, he's yeah. he's being restrained. No, wait, he's being grappled right now, so he can't yeah. go anywhere. Larry, give lower a bit. I'm too short. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> I'm five feet. <laughs> I'm five feet tall. <laughs> did the did the guy below learn just die? Yeah. 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 And he's six and I'm looking at the guy four. that's still up, and I'm going to say C. Uh, <laughs> a little, a little after. Yeah, yeah. No. You're still smacking at, at, at Charlie. You just like cut a bit of his like legs, and it's bleeding, but he's he's uh, still technically still alive. Oh Anything my else? God. Yeah, wait. I have still bonus session. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, wait. One go- oh my God. Four in yeah, one. Swipe. Oh my god! Ah, I should have probably roll twenty shit. Yeah, you you try to jump up this time and it's like oh oops, accidentally like overreach. Four and, and one. Oh, oh my god! Hey, it's better uh, than two ones, okay? Yeah. It's better than two ones. Okay? <laughs> All right, end uh, method. End of Nicholas turn. Larin. Oh my god! It's just gonna finish him, right? Just by slapping him on top of the other guy. <laughs> yeah, man. <I mean, laughs> but but he is no longer but he is no longer stunned technically. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. but. He's still so now, he can, now, <laughs> he's he can, now, now he's completely aware it's happening. <laughs> yeah, like as he as the stun releases itself, he just goes. Ah! Yeah, I'll smack him on the other guy. Okay, here that we go. Little, how do you do that? Little? My word! Oh my god! Twelve. I wrote like him at the F. Twelve, 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 and now it's twelve oh ten. My god. Again. Why? Oh. Okay, I'll do it again. Wait, you have? Oh, oh yeah, there you, you have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Time you hit. Roll me one d four plus four. Yeah, you sure? Yeah, yeah. So both. So technically, it would be non-lethal damage that you're doing, right? Oh, oh. plus the giant yeah. might damage. Okay, plus the, the giant damage as well. Yeah, two plus two, so it's nine damage. So this guy will take nine damage if you smack Chal into him, and Chal just goes, ah! <laughs> just slams into him and just falls unconscious. Hey. Yeah. Yay! Yeah, yeah. All right. Anything else, Larin? Uh, no. That's my turn. Okay, quick. Wait, finish him. I used. Hold. See, even even Charles doesn't like you. <laughs> 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 All right. Totally hey, motherfucker. Oh no. Oh. He completely uh, failed. Seven. No, no, no. It's just seven and six, right? So yeah. it's uh, no uh, plus eight nine. from his radiant soul, so it's twenty-one. Oh my god, and he has blessed strikes. Oh my god. Wait, <laughs> blessed strikes, is it on, on cantrip? Yeah, it does work yeah. on cantrip. Yeah, yeah, it's on cantrip. Oh, it's long spell. It's my spell. 21. No, spells don't get it. Like, oh, like, really? Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, but the like melee and cantrips are weapon cantrip attacks. attacks. Cantrips are weapon attacks. Yeah, well, cantrips are weapon attacks. So that uh, will be yeah, And of your turn, Snow. Yeah. Hey. Let's finish him. Ah, uh, steady aim and beat. Steady aim and just shoot him. Nah, she's going over there for the full on, the full on rapier. Oh, attack, you know? Use your rapier. No, I just kidding. Oh, she might use daggers just in case she misses. Yeah, yep. up to you actually. Where can we get poison with dagger? <laughs> Where can we get? That's a good question. Actually, now you're in a good place to ask. Uh, that dagger will definitely hit for. Oh. 23 damage? Okay, so Snow, how do you want to do this? <laughs> um, he's like, he's like the most legend of the world. Wh- wh- whisper, you should have run. <laughs> and you see him just like turn around and like, just look around and where? And looks down. Oh, shit! And, and then, you snap uh, right into his guts. <laughs> no, 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 oh no. Pommel the, pommel, I don't make the pommel of the dagger. Oh, pommel of the dagger? No. All right, you knock him unconscious. And he just falls back into the mannequin, smashes it into the ball bearings, falls prone on the ground. Combat is over. Uh, actually, 
Technically, combat is over for now. <laughs> eight hours. It lasts for eight hours. There's the guy outside is busy counting the cobblestones. <laughs> eight hours. Wow. Eight hours. <laughs> Uh, right. I'll take out I'll take out some hemp and rope and then I'll hand it to Morgoth yes. Morgor- Morgor- or Vlarin and say mm-hmm. maybe someone could go outside and tie him up. Yeah, not me. I mean, he he he's harmless to me. Better than manacle yeah, manacles is better. I I take back my rope. Okay, okay. Where's so you go up there. And as as you go up to him, he's just like, "Can you help me cut? Can you get off that, please?" And he's like, "Don't step on that cobblestone." And you put the manacles on him. Uh, would would he? Hold on a second. Would he? Would uh, he? Hmm, hmm. Actually, if you if, if you can you. Um, grapple, uh, I think you you can. There's okay. a couple of ways to break it. I think if you shake him or if nope. you damage him. No, only nope. damage. Only damage. Only, only damage. damage. And, so concent- I'll say, and I'll, concentration. I'll say, I'll say roll me a sleight of hand. So like that way he would even notice the moon when you put it on. Yeah, yeah. Just I'll go do that. Yeah. Yeah. Sleight of hand. You'll make a second check. I'll put it at disadvantage because he's... Yeah. There you go. Oh, wow. I would have wow. Been wow. Uh, but yes. <laughs> but as he's busy counting, like, he just puts his hands up. It's like, eh, what are my hands together? What the hell is going 47, on? 47, 36. <laughs> one, and two, one. He's, he's manacled right now, but he's outside. So you want to bring right. him in? Yeah, and Snow's like, don't worry. You just keep counting. <laughs> uh, uh, he looks really confused. Like, he just looks at the manacles in his hand and just goes, okay, excuse me. He just kind of pushes you aside. One, yeah. two, three. <laughs> but yes, as you guys have cleared up this entire space of all these bandits, Torum comes around the corner. Oh, just um, goes... oh yep. hang on. Sorry. Mm-hmm. Um, Snow is also going to quickly whisper to Vlaren and say, Hide him, hide him. I who? Carl. And uh, Snow is going to I'll, help I'll, I'll, guys... I'll put him... Oh, behind and walk towards like put him behind me and walk towards the wall, like lean on it. <laughs> okay, sure, no problem. Torum just goes shave, uh, huh? like to the tavern in front of you all. And just goes, oh well, okay. Uh, that seems yeah. to be a bit. And you do see Theris also come around the corner. She what? steps around. What? And I would deal? assume. Okay, so. So very quickly, let's do this first. Mm-hmm. Snow, you were having a conversation with Theris before all this even happened. So yep. very quickly, uh, as you came in in your bandit disguise, Theris just goes, yes, can I help you? So this is 10 minutes before the fight happened. <laughs> Previously. 10 minutes ago. Previously. 10 minutes ago. Now. Yeah, so, and then it leaves um, the blood. <laughs> no, it's just going to be like, um, pretend to be... Um, one of the dead rats that came in late and asking whether Charles around. I don't know whether Theris, the dead around. Theris, Theris gives you this like um, this unapproving look. Basically, just goes, yeah, okay. he's in the tavern where he usually is. Don't you people always hang out together? Um, insight check on the disapproving look, by the way. Okay, make me insight check. Um. Like, is he being disapproving of my behavior or just disapproving of my presence? Okay. Ah. It's hard to tell. Theris is actually quite hard to read. Uh, but you can tell from her eyes that she doesn't like you very much. At least your current... Uh, yeah. who, who you look like right now. She doesn't like that person. Okay. And uh, so that was going to be like... Um, so, yeah, you know, all the business. I'm, I'm really not too sure. You would, know, you would know, uh, Snow, that the uh, House of a Thousand Faces is a base for the Harpers. Uh, you've been told this by. Yeah. Yeah, and that the people there, uh, which I will also mention, Theris and Tora, were definitely Harper agents. Mm-hmm. Um, so, oh, I'm actually sorry. Um, so now it's going to be like, um, yeah, I mean, I got really caught up in the mother business. Um, you know what they're 
working on right now. I yeah, I don't want to, to I don't want to uh, trouble Charles. She goes. I don't know. Go speak to Charles yourself. He's gonna kill me though. He's gonna have my hide. That sounds like a you problem and not a me problem. I mean. Look, if you don't want to drink, just get out of my face, all right? Wow. Um, can I inside check that again? Sure. Wow. He doesn't um, seem to like you very much. Oh, oh my goodness. So what did you do? No. She doesn't see Snow. She sees the, the bandit that is the person that, she, that Snow is being disguised as. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah, she sees the bandit. Um, and I'm trying to pretend to be the bandit. Um, let me see here. Snow's going to ask, um, do um, you know who they're so dressed in around here recently? Oh, never oh, met the cell dry in my life. Oh, no, like, and uh, Snow's just gonna like cover her mouth, like, as if she accidentally said something she wasn't supposed to. Okay, but, sure. Um, and oh, uh, the all this, uh, how do you say, subterfuge. Totally unnecessary sometimes. Yeah. Um. Yes, uh, when the inside you go, you can tell that she's still looking you up and down, and she yeah. goes, "You don't seem like one of the others. Who are you?" Oh shit! Yeah. And she no. actually literally looks through right through your disguise and just goes, "Oh, I see you now." Yes, no, it's literally puts a hand right through the top of the head, and because you're shorter than the guy, it just goes right through. Ah, oh, that's an interesting little clip you have there. Uh, hi there, little kitty. Yeah, well, I mean, <laughs> yeah, they tell what are you doing here in this uh, little disguise? Uh, very dangerous to deal with this dead rat, so well, I mean, uh. No, like, flash the coin is like, Charles tried to press gang me. Oh, wait, wait, which coin are you flashing? Um, actually, wait, sorry. Um, actually, no, 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 no I'm not going to say that. Um, uh, I'm not going to pull out the coin, sorry. Um, uh, no, it's just going to say, uh, Charles tried to press gang me. Right, um, but do know that they are very dangerous people. I would not recommend a little kitty, cute little kitty like you join forces with these kind of people. They are horrible at best. Yeah, you know what they're up to. Right now, making a ruin of my tavern, but I'm barely handling it. <clears throat> I mean, do you know whether you're involved in the... Uh... Post air business. From what I can tell, uh, she just kind of leans over. You you hear like this is before the this is before the conversation. Yeah. You can hear in the distance, Charles just going. You're a yeah. I'm best friends with the lost air. Look, look at me, badge. Look at it. Ah. <laughs> no, no, <please>. Okay. <laughs> uh, she just goes. Me thinks so. Pray tell, uh, you're quite an inquisitive one. Is there any reason you're here besides trying to join this ridiculous gang? No, no, no. I'm not trying to join them. Then what uh, are you really here for? Because my eyes tell me you're someone very different. Well, I think you've seen my badge before. My tits before. Which what? You've seen my pin before? Oh, you show the pin? All right. I like... Um, the... she... All right. As you show the pin to her, that is when combat happens then. <laughs> okay, shit. All right. <clears throat> okay. So, oh, you see... Seen... Yeah, Snow's not going to bother with disguising as Charlin. Yeah. Okay. Okay. But anyway, 
as the fight dies down, Ferris runs over the corner. This is 10 minutes after the conversation now. Ferris runs in and just goes, Oh dear. Uh, Param? Uh, get this useless fax out of my bar, please. And she goes, All right, all right. Uh, Wait, starts dragging which, bodies. Which useless fax? Yeah. <laughs> he starts dragging the bodies of the dead rats out one by one. Uh, Ferris walks up to you, Snow, who currently, right now, I think he would not be in your disguise. Yeah, no, I took off my disguise once the battle's over. She kind of like goes down on the knee, looks at you. Well, little kitty, I think you and your friends uh, need to have a quick conversation with us. Please follow me once you guys are all done. And she just looks at uh, Valerian just kind of holding Charles behind the back. No, no, no. (laughs) And me, who is already holding a broom from who knows. Yeah, sweeping up the glass, right? (laughs) All the ball bearings. So, so technically, you'll get your ball bearings back as you slowly okay. pick them up one by one. <laughs> lovely, lovely. Morgoroth will pick up the non, non-Charles non dead rat that's unconscious and carry him with us. Okay. So, you guys all head over to where Theris is, and she just goes, uh, once Torum is dealt with all of this, uh, Rift Wrath, you guys should just join me. There is a cellar down below. Please, follow me. And she literally hits the corner of the room before she, like, pulls out one of the floorboards, and there is a uh, kind of like a trap door that hits downwards. <laughs> she opens it, goes, please, come on in. I believe we all have much to discuss. So you guys all bring Charles and the unconscious dead rat as well. And eventually... Eventually? I'll give you a second. Oh. Yeah. Right, guys. Who has the best torture device right now? <laughs> I can torture him with my mind. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm more like a mafia thing, but, oh God, you know. Going on? <laughs> wow. Torture? All right. Fine with torture. That you guys are brought to a hidden cellar underneath the House of a Thousand Faces. Uh, it's a little bit ramshackle, but there is technically another bar there and more ales and hearts. And you can tell that this is like a secret meeting area of some sort. Uh, Torum joins you all as well. Eventually, I think, yeah, you well, guys all sit around. Um, as Snow is like heading down like um, the cellar, um, Snow is just going to ta- ask Ferris, um, so... I remember, um, uh, like, correct me if I'm wrong, didn't the, uh, Harpers and the Dead Rats had an arrangement at one point? Is that still in effect? And she just kind of, like, shakes her head up and down, kind of nodding. She goes, ah, yes, but we'll talk in private. Come on. And yeah. she just goes, Torum, shut up the bar for now. Uh, we're not taking customers. I think we have, uh... Bit of a discussion to be had. Torum disagrees, immediately closes out the bar and joins you guys in <clears throat> this underground part of the house. Faces. As Theris heads behind the bar, Torum kind of just like stands guard at the trap door. He just goes, Well, all of you Harper agents as well, or are you just sympathizers? Uh- Except for uh, points to um, Neko. Neko's just tying him up. So, I guess all of you are related somehow. Pray tell, what are you all doing here? Besides obviously kicking the riffraff out of my bar. Well, we're looking into this lost air business and seeing whether, like, what's going on and why the dead rats of all people are involved with him. Unfortunately for that, I myself do not know. It's Toram who usually speaks with uh, Charal, but even he tries to avoid that sometimes. And Charal, Toram just goes, it's a uh, weird business relationship right now we're having, and uh, currently a bit of a standstill, as you can see. But Charles here just takes this place for his own, like fucking backyard, and kind of messes the place up, brings all his people here, 
I mean, sometimes they provide business, yes, but, uh, you know, parts like those up there don't exactly come every day, but they do come. So thank you, I guess, for kicking his ass. You can see, like, he's kind of smiling, and so is Terrence mm. as well, as they look at the unconscious child just kind of blurred on the floor. Actually, while well, he's unconscious, no, it's just going to, like, as they're talking, so it's just going to casually walk up to Chow and just pick his pockets. Okay, so... <clears throat> Uh, there is on Shao. So you find about 300 gold pieces on him in a coin pouch. He also technically has a plus one short sword and a he is wearing plus one leather armor. Very nice, but fits like a halfling size. Somebody who's medium or smaller would definitely be able to wear it. Okay. Other than that, he has nothing on him that is of worth. Short sword is a light weapon. Yeah. Uh, short sword. Yeah, yeah. Plus one short sword. Yeah, yeah. it's light. Uh, you can use it with a dagger. I can go short sword and dagger. Yeah. Yeah. But the rapiers, the poison is still fun. So. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll hold on to it, yeah. Uh, uh, the rapier, you can hand it to me if you like. I can use the rapier. Although I probably never use it. <laughs> um, yeah, okay. Yeah, I'll give you the poison rapier. Okay, thank you. Wow. All right. So, uh, Ferris just goes, so uh, who sent you? It wouldn't be Ninjas, would it be? She kind of raises yeah. an eyebrow. Like, no, no. Nah. Um, Make a discussion check, please. Actually, I'm I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna pull out the I'm gonna pull out this, the the uh, Never Ember Seal. Yeah, that's why I was, no, I was like, no, it wasn't Lenges. It was Never Ember. Never Ember himself. Was, wow. So you guys have worked yourself pretty deep into the city. I can see. Even having one of those. So are you working for us or are you working against us? Uh, we're we're working for the truth. Um so far we haven't come we have, so, so far we haven't come up against any harpers and I I pray that we don't. But all never ever all never ever wanted was for us to find information about the lost heir and see if um Ooh. the information that he's um uh, passing along to everybody is true or not um this lost air you speak of yeah me and Torum haven't met him yet but you can tell there has been a lot of commotion in the city and no thanks to that charles himself got a little bit more bolder as of late so whatever you wish to do with this air it will need to be discussed I... we just want to find out if, if, he's, if he's the true heir we want to make sure that 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 he's treated properly and if this is some kind of a um is attack he... on the city we also want to want to get it get it resolved as quickly as possible is he part he of is, our plan the, the plague change plague change started ha started coming around about the time that he got the crown so it could be that he's that he is here to protect us or it could be that someone is using the crown as a means to foment civil war yeah, and then I I uh, briefly uh, yank the back of my armor and show them my scar back and say I have been into close physical contact with the air. That was uh, that I I'm suspicious that something might might be related to that. So she looks at your spell scar and goes, "Well, unfortunately, from the information that we harpers have about the spell plague." We know that the spell plague itself, or anybody who has any scars regarding it, uh, is not transmissible. It is neither mm. any sort of virus or some sort of disease. Those who are burnt with the spell scar are usually chosen in some way. How all these arcane forces work, I unfortunately do not know myself. Colm? Kron goes, well, I heard the story about this one guy, you know, went all the way to the east. Uh, you know, where the spell plague uh, fires kind of erupt from the eastern source. Uh, they used to throw people into the fire and uh, in hopes of them garnering some kind of special powers. So some of them sometimes, you know, they make it back 
in the now they have magical powers of all sorts fire and lightning and all sorts of weird little things but unfortunately some of them don't actually make it turns out only one out of five people actually survive the spell is mm-hmm. so, so people intentionally go through with it well, well it's, it's a very it's, strange can, custom can, can, can only a person chosen can only a person with a spell cart spell scar choose another person like that no, unfortunately, we have no knowledge about uh, any such a thing. Otherwise, there would be plenty of random folk running around with spell scars, yes? True. Wait, well, by perchance, if the spell plague fires blue. He goes, Why am I thinking well, soldier has something to do with this? Well, really, there has been reports that the fire itself is azure in color. So yes, a kind of sapphic blue color. But other than that, um, no other information. You see, um, the Spellscar kind of manifests itself on different people at different times all over history. And there have been heroes who have garnered the Spellscar and used it for the better good, while others have used it for much more devious means. I think the fires that the lost air was using was blue as well, wasn't it? I think so. I think so. Yes. I mean, that... I mean, the blue fire is also a feature of the powers of the Neverwinter Crown, if I remember correctly. Oh, it... All right. You all have seen the crown. It is quite magnificent from the stories I have heard. Apparently, anyone who wears it, uh, unless they are not a true heir of the son of Elagonda, they will most likely erupt into flames and die on the spot. While those who wear the crown and are the true heir garner all sorts of powers from it. So, it is all myth, however. I cannot mm-hmm. really trust these reports myself until I see it. But mm-hmm. now that you all are here, and we have Chal here as well, perhaps he might know a little bit more than what we all pertain, nice. Um, so, like, before we wake Charles up, so, as far as you know, the air isn't part of our plans to overthrow Neverember? Well, Harper's right now, Terrace just kind of, like, looks sadly at Torum. And there's a little bit of disarray. Me and my brother here, we do not agree with Lenges's methods. And so I guess you guys are seeking the same sort of path. We would like to avoid Never Ember at best. If he were to know where we are and what this place truly is, I highly doubt we would be allowed to stay here safely. So please don't let any others know what that these this is a true base of the harpers. You may work with Lenges as you speak, but sympathizers or not. Hope you all are here to help the city. Avengers is low rank. <laughs> well, there is no ranks within the Harpers. They ah. are just agents and ah. people of note. So technically, you all are comrades. So ah. But I digress. What would you all like to do with this uh, halfling idiot here? Mm, I'm just goes, the... idiot, we need to question idiot. him. Torum just goes, idiot he may be, but he did help us get in contact with the sons of Alexander. If it wasn't for him, we wouldn't have known how to deal with them. There is just sighs. Yes, yes, I know, brother. Oh. I know. Maybe well, send him with to his I sister. The sons of Alexander. Sorry? No, I was going to say, we have an in with the sons of Alexander. Well, with the Nashers. But just the Nashers? Um, uh, she yeah, goes, just the ashes. Oh, we have a like a three time champion. <laughs> <laughs> well, unfortunately, I haven't spoken to any of the rebels myself. The Grey Cloaks and the Nashes, though separate factions within the same, all also look to depose Neverwinter, a uh, Never Ember of uh, his current power. And we too would like that to happen. We understand that he has been working behind the scenes and what he has been doing, we do not like. 
the harpers themselves has given us missions here. And though prayed as we are, and as little as we may be, it is good to see more of our kind around. We might need your help. We might need it more in future as well. I nod my head and I'm going to say, if we could wait uh, until tomorrow, I might have a spell that could help us interrogate um, this halfling idiot here. It's called uh, Zone of Truth, and then I explain the mechanics of the spell to her, blah, 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 blah. Basically, they won't be able to lie if, uh, if I cast it successfully. As she thinks to herself, but if they make their charisma saving throw, then they would still be able to do so, yes? What's a charisma it's saving not... throw? I don't know, but I found a lot of information online sometimes. If so, if online? Harpers, harpers are so resourceful. <laughs> she goes, perhaps that may be one case. But On the Harper now. is going to wake up probably soon. Perhaps you can talk to him now. And then again, I mean, yes. I, 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 I don't want to wait. We, if something's going down. Someone's using us for something. If someone's trying to use us as a distraction, we're surrounding or him anyway. Us with somebody else, then we need to find out what it is and and fix it fast. Well, I leave it up to you. The so I'm, I, I'm I'm saying let's let's go ahead and tie this guy up, wake him up, and question him, and try to. Try to get to right. the try to get to the truth. Right then, Toram, and Toram just basically just starts to tie him up uh, with rope, pulls him up onto pretty much the bar, kind of sits his like flops his body and his head against the bar stool. And goes whenever you guys are ready. I'll put a point of healing into him to wake him up. Uh, he, Thoram just puts up his hand. Uh, unnecessary. Just slaps, just slaps Charles away. <laughs> oh. oh, shit! And you see he's like, his eyes are kind of running around all around looking at you. Oh, oh, please, please don't kill me! Please, please don't kill me! Uh... If we wanted you dead, you'd be dead. We want answers. <laughs> and Therese just looks at Charles. Just, these are... A few close friends of our child, and mind you, we still have our little agreement. But if you were to do anything a little untoward towards the harper as well, those agreements, I'll say it would be off the table. No, shall just yeah, yeah, I'll, tell you, I'll give you whatever medicine you need. Who hired you to attack the Mentarn mercenaries? What? Who told you to send the mint out? Or the the who who told you to send the dead rats to the gate? I, I didn't send any dead rats. I what area is your cell? That. I would Sorry? like to inside check that. Should make the inside checks, please. Uh, yeah, I too will inside that. Them to the gate. I too okay. will inside that. Should make me inside checks. Queen, uh, he looks to be in a bit of distress right now. Can't tell. Uh, Kasaba, same as well. It's hard to tell when somebody's on a lot of stress. Uh, you're not even sure whether they're telling the truth sometimes. But Snow, you can tell from dealing with dead rats before, this is like the cowardly, the most cowardly of the lot. Uh, the fact that he's able to say that he would gladly tell anything means his, he might not even be wholly like loyal to the dead rats himself. This man probably thinks, this, this halfling probably thinks, cares about himself more than anything else. Okay. Yeah. I was going to say, which cell, um, which area the, are you responsible for? I'm not really responsible for any area. I, I mean, I told you, uh, 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 it's my half sister, Pascal. She, she's the one that was in charge of the, uh, uh, the fisherman's float area. And I'm just kind of hanging around here. Have you heard from her lately? Well, not that you mentioned it, not really. Don't really know what happened to her. Uh, we happened to her. Ah! We happened to her. Uh, she's dead. Please don't kill me too. Where's the rest of your party members? Uh, you killed them. Uh, uh, most of them. No, no, I mean they're red, they're red, they're red. Oh. Uh, Is uh, there anyone hiding? Towards somewhere? Secret hiding? Take a place. 
Uh, yes. Uh, I mean, they, we have another base of operations. It's just beneath the Black Lake district in the sewers. Not that Did anyone lose money gambling recently? Uh, no, <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> what the hell is that? <laughs> I think it was just a different bunch of angry gambling gamblers. No, it's going to say, ask, um, who's the, um, so who did report to you now? Uh, I kind of were supposed to report to, but I don't report it. I just kind of like let the let the flunkies do it, you know. Uh, just kind oh. of enjoy myself out here. But yeah, they report to a result. So, how do we? Result. How did they get in touch with result? Uh, be very honest, uh, I don't know myself. Uh, I think they send some sort of messages. And the sewers, I mean, it's a pretty big place. Where's the dead rat's hideout at? You know where the Black Lake is? And just to give you guys an idea. I'm, look, I'm looking yeah. at Therese and Thorum. Where? Therese and Thorum and just like looking at this and they just kind of like, they're, they're absorbing the whatever you guys are basically like asking. Mm -hmm. Right as well. Do so. It. Uh, this is the Black Lake, uh, literally the Black Lake within the Black Lake district. Oh. And Charles just goes, wait, there's this little boathouse on the edge of the lake. Um, there's a trap door there. It's, it's how they go down. I've only ever waited there. I've never really been in it. Is there anything dangerous over there? From, well... I suggest you don't go there perhaps a day time. And perhaps you should, shouldn't go there at night too. And Torum just slaps him. Tell them properly. Man. <laughs> Look, it's guarded by dead rats in the daytime. And there's quite a lot of them, so it might be dangerous. But if you go at night, it's pretty much the same too. Because at night, all sorts of creepy crawlies around the Black Lake, especially around that boathouse. If you know something. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Um, and has the lost air passed through that area? <laughs> look, I was just kidding about the lost air. Look, 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 you see it's fake. And he just takes, he tries to like remove the amethyst like badge from his, uh, from his clothes, and he just kind of bites onto it. Look, look, and just bites down onto it, and you can hear crack as this piece of glass just cracks. Uh, it is glass. It is not an amethyst badge. It looks very much like the ones that you guys have, but now upon closer inspection, it looks very much like a like ma like man-made, or kind of like homemade version of the badge. Okay. And even the colors wrong once it's kind of broken. Right now, as you look at it, I'm gonna. Just... I, I don't really know the last air. I. I'm just joshing you. Look, look, anybody who knows the lost air now is kind of like, you know, friends and, and everyone in this district kind of likes him. So it gives you good points. That's all I'm saying. What about with the dead rat? I'm going to make him eat What's the it? glass. I, I don't know. I mean, we've never actually spoken to the lost air, you know? What kind? Um, it's just like that, just to be sure. I mean, I kind of get the feeling that he's he's spilling the beans, but so like, I want to inside that. Okay, sure. Ooh, with a twenty, here is what you inside. So, uh, amongst all the things you've said so far, you can garner that Charles is more of a rebel than he is a dead rat. He sees the dead rats as a means to an end, a freedom from the tyranny of Lord Neverember. Uh, you can also tell that he broke it, definitely broke the alliance between the sons of Alagona and the dead rats, probably the help of Pascal, and probably the rebels encouraged by himself and the lost there have kind of uh, 
reluctantly agreed to work with this gang. And you can tell that the Harpers kind of got pulled into this as well, reluctantly. Charles, however, doesn't seem to know anything about the attack on the wall. He definitely admits that he doesn't know everything the gang is up to, like he just said. And, you know, it is still, however, possible that the Dirt Rats still have, could have been behind it, just a separate cell. Yeah. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Cool. Um, cool. Hmm. Anything else you want? Can, can I go now, please? No, and I'm going to make it very unpleasant for him. I'm going to take out uh, a random strip of cloth and I'm going to cast the light cantrip onto the cloth, the inside of it. And I'm going to tie the cloth onto their eyes. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Hey, uh, what's going on? Are you going to kill me now? Just don't try I to say let's, I say let's like, leave him to let, let's and leave we him might bring to your sister, maybe. Okay. Please be more honest with us tomorrow, and I cheerfully, cheerfully back out of the room. Okay, all right. Theris and Torum just goes. Dear, there's anything else you wish to ask? We'll put him into hold for it now. Uh, you can question him again in the morning if you like. But and he just kind of pulls Charles by the ear. Just tosses him into the back door and closes yeah. it. I was gonna and pull out. Um, I was like, yeah. Uh, Snow's gonna pull out the um, coin pouch that Tor uh, Charles had. So, how much is for the repairs, by the way? Ceres, it's money. Ceres just puts up her hands. That's for you to keep. It's all right. Uh, we are used to this. We will have the repairs fixed by tomorrow. But. You actually done this a bit of a, a bit of a favor, really. And Torum just kicks Charles into the back room. Torum just goes, "Yeah, yeah, don't worry about it. Drinks on me." And Theris just goes, "As for the rest of you, you're welcome to come here anytime. This is a safe haven for us, Harpers. If you need some rest, I will allow tonight to be free of charge." Ah, oh, thank you so much, Charles. Oh. Yeah. You all look like you really need it. <laughs> you can look mm. up and down the entire place. Oh and man, yeah, you, you have no idea. I, I've already swept the floor for, for you, but uh, sadly, the furniture you have to manage on your own. That is unnecessary, but thank you again for your assistance. Yeah, uh, I think yeah, let's uh, let's stay here. Are we going to the? I mean, I think I think if we go back to, to the lake, we might have an awkward run in with Lenjas. Yeah, we might get it like, get more encounters. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's wrong. Just... There is just goes, if you speak to Flynn, just tell her that we are still doing our mission, unlike her, and we have been on the lookout for anything such as this happening. So you can trust us, and you can tell her that we are still here for now. Yeah, you know what, let's, let's, I don't really want to confront Flynn just until after we do that with Charles, so let's, let's stay here tonight. The there it goes. I completely understand. Her face isn't exactly one that you want to cross. I look at Larin. Future drinks, of course. Saram just goes, oh, wait for me. And he basically goes behind the bar, pulls out a bottle of wine, just goes, uh, wine? Ale? Anything? Oh, just hey. water. No, yeah, what? Right then. And just pours ale for you, because uh -huh. there is no water here. Uh -huh. You know what? I'll have some ale and drink some. <laughs> All right. Um, so you guys can have a little bit of a rest right now. But is there anything that you'd like to ask? Nah, don't worry about that. The ale here is weak and watered down. We... It tastes good. It surprisingly tastes like it spiced the uh, the ale itself. So there's a little bit of pepper taste. Not... Uh, but other than that, it's quite savory, almost like a buttery taste to it. Uh, but yeah, it doesn't. It really it would take a lot of drinks to kind of knock you down. Uh, even you, Snow. Uh, but she goes, if you need anything uh, else, just let me know. Uh, this bar isn't just exactly a bar. And she flips over like the bottles and you see like weapons, swords, swords, leathers, uh, like javelins, crossbow balls, light crossbows. All sorts of weapons are behind the bar and she kind of flips the table as well. Underneath you see long swords, rapiers, Holy all man. sorts of weapons. And she just goes, if you need anything, just purchase this from here. Uh, we'll do it on a discount. No worries. 
but we still need obviously to be paid for it. It's nothing of this is free. Very impressive. We keep ourselves well stocked, and at least Torum does that for us. Are, are any um, of these magical? I am trying out a potion, like health potion, healing potion. Oh yeah, we might. Yeah, we do. We do need that. Fortunately, we don't have any of that for ah. sale. But how about this for your assistance with uh, Charl? She just reaches under the table and she pulls out what seems to be like a case and she puts it on the table. You see six uh, regular health potions inside. She just goes, this is sir, all we can offer you for now as thanks. Uh, please take this. Uh, it is on the house. I... Six regular potions. I... Yeah, don't mind if I do. Um, Snow's going to take, take three with her since she is the emergency ambulance. Yeah. As you lift up a few. Uh, if you need any ammunition, we can supply that here. Unfortunately, none of the weapons that you see are magical of the sorts. And I can see that some of you are already wielding a lot of better weapons. But as always, if you need any sort of uh, armory, we have a little bit of a shop here for you. Just speak to me or Toro, and we will deal with it. You have like poisonous weapons that be like poison weapons, magical weapons? She goes, no, poisons are not entirely magical. Depends on the poison. But unfortunately, we don't have any sorts of thing here. However, I can point you in the right direction if you wish to look for a place that deals with such substances. There is a academy nearby. It deals with all sorts of horticulture, and they teach students about the arts, and how to appreciate them, as well as all sorts of herb law and agricultural skills. How to know wild animals by sense. You could probably say they are a range of schools. But the school also sells paintings, herbs, recipes, information sometimes, and yes, healing potions as well. And for those uh, in working in our sorts of industry, they do deal with a little bit of uh, more dangerous alchemy as well. Potions that induce sleep, heighten sensations, or even lust. And Torum just kind of like, he, you can see there is literally just looks at Torum and Torum just blushes. Uh, but it is all rumors, obviously. So I would not go there unless you obviously have a uh, introduction from S. They do sell poisons from what I hear, my cat friend. Uh, that place is known as the Starshine Academy. Starshine Academy. Mm. Right. And it's just located in the Black Pool Lane within the uh, walk well, about uh, 10 minutes from our cabin here. And you're going to Black Loon Lane. I thought I hear and black Kool Aid. <laughs> and you may need to black Kool Aid like what? <laughs> what is the lad's name? Give me a second. Uh, all right. Yep. You may speak with Magriel. She like me also a ladrin. But she has been here for a very long time. Old as she may be, her recipes and potions are of excellent quality. But I recommend not imbibing yourself too much on the things she sells. Good thing. Thank you. Who has the other two other potions? Than that, is there anything else you like me? No, like, sorry, just like at all. She's pretty cut out. She's actually very bad. It goes well. I believe that will conclude our meeting for today. You guys should perhaps go check this boathouse out. I, I do urge you. This dead rat business, along with this lost air, gives us a little bit of pause as well as to what our plans may be in future. Go, go ahead, investigate, find out what you may about dead rats and whatever is happening with this spell plate that you're all so concerned about. We. We'll keep the port right here, and if we spot anything unusual, as usual, you will find us and more information here. Mm. I 
you. Oh. You're so, so kind. Ferris just kind of like gives you all keys to your rooms. So you guys have rooms for the night that you guys can long rest in. Technically, if you guys long rest, after, like you wouldn't be able to long rest yet, but during the evening, by the time you finish your eight hour rest, it would be very late in the morning, close to about like the 1, 2 a.m. kind of 3 a.m. kind of period. And she goes, I know uh, Rachel has mentioned that it is uh, not guarded at night, but please be wary. As mentioned, there are a lot of weird, strange creatures around the Black Lake district, uh, at least around the Black Lake itself. There yeah. have been rumors of all sorts of uh, weird vegetation and carnivorous plants that kind of prey on that wary as well. Maybe we should go during the day. That is unfortunately not recommended, as mentioned. If the dead rats do know you're coming, perhaps they might all flee the hideout. What little they, information they or investigations them. you might get, yeah. you won't get any of it. A mission in the night sounds a little bit more within your wheelhouse. After all, you've only dealt with six of them, and yet you are this bloodied. Imagine dealing with the entire gang. <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, no. I mean, no. this wasn't our only rodeo today. <laughs> well, oh, my goodness. I recommend <laughs> perhaps not an outright war with the dead rats right now. They are a means to an end. And yeah, right now, is there, a, is there a back entrance or back way we can take to get there? Unfortunately, not that I know of. You would still need to make your way through the Black Lake District all the way to the edges of the Black Lake itself. This tavern here, besides uh, this secret uh, clubhouse that you see right now, there is nothing else that we kind of hide. And I would say approaching at night is going to be our best bet. Later tonight. Okay. So we could yeah, long, rest, yeah, long yeah. rest and then go. All right. Um, do you think we should also probably get that, um, the one counting the stones? down here. I don't I think if word gets out that Horam just goes ah, don't worry. I'll deal with him. Uh, this picks up the unconscious one that you guys kind of brought with him as well and lifts it up by the, like, the back. Uh, this one as well, do you want to special it? I think we've gotten what we need. Still counting. Yeah, I think we got what we need from Charles. I don't think the, he's going to have oh. any more information than Charles did. Alright then. Just carries, just slings him over the shoulder and just goes right up there. You can hear up as he hits up the trap door. Like, hey, you, hey, you missed a stone over here. Come, yeah. come back. I'm concentrating until the end. <laughs> since we, uh, <laughs> si since we already had our long rest, I'm going to cast Zone of Truth. Oh no, no, now. you haven't had your long rest yet. You have oh, not no, had your long rest yet. Mind. Yeah, you have not yet had your long rest yet. Uh, right now, Chow would be like still held captive here. Uh, you guys can head up, take your long rest, and yeah. by the next session, you would probably have to deal with that little mission that you have. You can do a little bit more like information gathering, and Ferris will also say, like, she's going to go ask around a little bit of what's going on around town. And oh, yeah, yeah. technically, once you guys have finished your long rest, you guys can head back down here, and she'll do a little bit of a briefing before you guys can head up for your mission. Yeah, all right. Okay. Okay. Other than that, please have a good rest and welcome to the house of a thousand faces. Yay! Give me, give me a fee. <laughs> All right. So yeah. thank you guys for this session tonight. Uh, you will get your long rest. So do your long rest first. That they will just make things a lot faster for next session. So just finish up your long rest first. Uh, get anything else you need sorted out during the long rest. Uh, then during next session, if you have needs for any other purchases of we weapons or equipment or stuff like that, we'll go through that as well. Uh, potions, unfortunately, unless you search somewhere else, there won't be any potions to get. But experience points is something everyone definitely gets. So. Yeah, come on, level up, come on. How much do you need? I don't think you, I don't, I don't know. Uh, 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 oh, you might. Just, just you enough, might. just enough. Uh, you need... might. No, not, not, you might. not, not, not much. You might. I, I, need, I need all of them. Oh. <laughs> if if I lack like one hundred, let's just kill the one up there. <laughs> no, if you lack one hundred, if you lack one hundred, I'll give you the one. It's like one hundred. Uh, okay. By the by, the six of you. Every holy shit. No, can't have gotten that much. Let me just double check. Come on. Say five thousand. Say five thousand. 
thirty. Oh my god, you son of a bitch. Okay. Say five thousand four hundred fifty-eight. We level up. Really? What? Uh, 5458 XP for dealing with Charles killing the uh, bandits that you guys yeah have. oh wait you didn't kill all of them hold on I should be minusing some XP hold on hold on hold on, hold on. I'm gonna kill them now wait a minute let's go let's go let's go let's <laughs> go dealing with them dealing with them is the XP don't worry so everyone gets five, four, five, eight XP for the. Oh yeah. man, I'm only two hundred and seventy six away. Two hundred seventy six away. Yeah. Yeah, level up, baby. Okay, level up. Yeah, take it, take it. Level up. Yeah, take the two hundred seventy six as well. You level yeah, up. Yeah, right. that can walk underwater. Who who has yet to reach level nine? Larry, uh, Larry. Oh, Larry is probably. Reach level nine yet. How far are you from level nine, Larry? Oh, uh, like eight hundred something. Ah, no, yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah. yeah, yeah, no, yeah, no, no, no. It's much. it's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the rest of you guys can yeah definitely reach your level nine. But no, yeah, it's yeah. probably like upgradable. I, I am no, I am eight hundred and mm. thirteen nine. Mm. You missed yeah, two sessions, I guess. You missed two sessions. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah so, yeah, it's okay. So, I'll, uh, for now, like, Blair and Snow, now I have to make a decision. <laughs> <laughs> what, whether you want to get fighter or paladin? I'll say take fighter. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm I'm third level fighter now. So now I get my subclass. I got to figure out what oh. subclass I'm going to oh. take. I say Eldritch Knight. Could I be a purple dragon knight? <laughs> oh, Ooh, yes. I would totally allow that. I would totally allow that. It is, after all, it's, yeah, it is part of the... Uh, but you'll be the do. first one I ever you, you'll played. You'll be literally it. the first, yeah. You'll be literally the first Purple Dragon Knight I've seen in my entire D&D life. There's a reason for that. There's a reason, there's a for, reason it, for it. Right? Yeah. <laughs> there's a big reason. There's a big reason. There's a big reason. There's I mean, a it's reason good. for it. I mean, I mean, it's no, not no, bad. no. It's, it's not, not, it's it's, not I good. It's good. It's not good. I wouldn't good. say it's not. I wouldn't say it's good. I really yeah. would not say it's good. When it's not bad, I would also say it's, it's reaching there. Know, what it's is reaching it? Not is it, bad. is it in the Sword Coast book? Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, yes, yes, yes. And no, he's really, like, I'm he's like, 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 but really, I would recommend I just saw that an over like, Purple Dragon. Yeah. yeah, it's not bad. It would really suit your backstory and stuff like that, I would say, Mogro. But uh, do, uh, do consider it because it is a, it is a, it is a step down pretty much. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's thematic it, subclass. It, it and not doesn't, subclass. Yeah, it's My, it doesn't it's take anything cute. away, but it doesn't add anything. Doesn't you yeah. Anything. yeah. Really? Yeah. 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 What's yeah. the point of it? <laughs> Uh, flavor plus cool, but not there it, to be I, I would say it would it, in in a sort coast like heavy rp campaign it might play into effect more than it would in this campaign yeah probably maybe yeah yeah, yeah. but oh, wait, it, 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 it depends on you, you, you i mean you if you really want to in the upgrade that you got because that would i think bump you up Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, because yeah, you had another bonus like around level five yeah, or something. That's not anything that I would want to do. Oh okay. yeah, no, yeah, 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 no, no, yeah, yeah. You should be like four, three, four hundred away from I had, level nine. I had a uh, five hundred and ten EXP to bump me up to level yeah. seven. Uh, from yeah, so level eight. eight. Hang on, so that means eight three. So how far are you away from level nine now? So... Um, hang on. Less eight, than five hundred. Minus five one zero. I'll say for now three, at the current uh three to nine, literally twenty nine to allow you. <laughs> okay, okay, snow. Yeah, okay, okay, snow, snow. You can level up. It's fine. I'll, wow, I'll yay! Up. Extra sneak dice. Yeah, I'll allow that. I'll allow oh, it's not the oh nine, yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, you yeah, can go to level nine, snow, no problem. Okay. What's my yeah. second level four spell? Okay, so uh, besides that, anything else, guys, before we end the session tonight? Oh boy, nothing much. Okay, so thank you guys for joining in. Thank you all, really. Yep. And oh. we will see you. Oh man, next session gonna be 
<laughs> no problem to me because I can walk on the water. Wow, wow, no problem. Wow. No problem. To wow, you. Yeah, wow, wow. Are you wow. challenging the DM? Wow, you wow. wow. You're jinxing it immediately. Wow. Really? Okay. Wow. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm, of course, I'm going to have a Wow. And then all of us do it because Queen cast a spell and we're like, so. Everyone, oh. everyone <laughs> on the on water. I also can. <laughs> Also, also technically, you can walk on water. You cannot stand on water, Neko. But yeah, water walk allows yeah. them to stand on water. So it'd be funny if you like run halfway through, like oh no shit! Yeah. <laughs> so don't forget, don't forget your your monk skills are great, but they are not <laughs> not, not godlike. Okay. Yeah. All the animal, uh, all the monsters get sentinel. <laughs> <laughs> and have 20 feet range yes for sure uh, uh, I, 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 uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, and, I'm and restrain I'm and gonna, grapple I'm not going to say anything about 20 feet reach and all that 20, oh, 20 yeah. feet reach oh, and restrain and grapple oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh my god Eddie. Love, love's the word um, oh my god Eddie, you, 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 you're going to oh my god Eddie, Eddie, sorry sorry it's my it's supposed to be DC 15 for Planet Strike. Ah, okay. It's already over. Yeah. It's already over. So, not again, yeah. and stuff like that. We'll remember next week. But yes. Uh, all right. Thank you guys. Thank you guys so much. Hope you guys enjoyed that. And you can do yep. a little bit more interrogation technically, even at night, because Charles is still uh, in custody. And you can obviously still talk to Ferris and Torum next week as well. But yes, yep. thank yep. you guys very much for tonight's session. I will see you guys next week. Ciao. Yo. Thank you, Eddie. Bye. Thank you. Thank you guys. Bye, Good night. Bye bye.